it, do you know it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know history, history. On my back for sure when I when I let the truth go. We gon' let them know my people on my back for sure. I hold them, I hold them down for the road. The Lord Almighty made me. Lord's like God, they changed me. We can see the truth now. I got them looking crazy. Man, I'm always searching. Yeah, you hear I'm searching. You hear me, boy, I'm searching. You hear me, boy, I'm searching. You hear me, boy, I'm searching. Yeah. Searching for the road to the way back We don't know our father's going way back Do you know it, do you know it, oh yeah Oh yeah, 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 yeah We the chosen people, you say no way Your enemies are teaching you the wrong way Searching for the road to the way back We don't know our father's going way back Do you know it, do you know it, oh yeah Oh yeah, 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 yeah We the chosen people, you say no way Enemies are teaching you the wrong way Do you know it, do you know it, oh yeah Oh yeah, 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 yeah Do you know your history, history, history Yeah Do you know it, do you know it, oh yeah Oh yeah, 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 yeah Do you know your history, history On my back for sure when I when I let the truth go. We gon' let them know my people on my back for sure. I hold them, I hold them down for the road. The Lord Almighty made me. Lord's like God, they changed me. We can see the truth now. I got them looking crazy. Man, I'm always searching. Yeah, you hear I'm searching. You hear me, boy, I'm searching. You hear me, boy, I'm searching. You hear me, boy, I'm searching. Yeah. Searching for the road to the way back We don't know our father's going way back Do you know it, do you know it, oh yeah Oh yeah, 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 yeah We the chosen people, you say no way Your enemies are teaching you the wrong way Searching for the road to the way back We don't know our father's going way back Do you know it, do you know it, oh yeah Oh yeah, 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 yeah We the chosen people, you say no way Enemies are teaching you the wrong way. Do you know it? Do you know it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know your history, history, history? Yeah. Do you know it? Do you know it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know your history, history? On my back for sure when I when I let the truth go. We gon' let them know my people on my back for sure. I hold them, I hold them down for the road. The Lord Almighty made me. Lord's like God, they changed me. We can see the truth now. I got them looking crazy. Man, I'm always searching. Yeah, you hear I'm searching. You hear me, boy, I'm searching. You hear me, boy, I'm searching. You hear me, boy, I'm searching. Yeah. Searching for the road to the way back. We
We don't know our father's going way back Do you know it, do you know it all, oh, yeah Oh, yeah, 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 yeah We the chosen people, you say no way Your enemies been teaching you the wrong way Searching for the road to the way back We don't know our father's going way back Do you know it, do you know it all, oh, yeah Oh, yeah, 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 yeah We the chosen people, you say no way Your enemies been teaching you the wrong way do you know it? Do you know it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know your history? History, history. Yeah. Do you know it? Do you know it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know your history? History. Now we going back, breathing on my back for sure. When I when I let the truth go, we gon' let them know. My people on my back for sure. I hold them, I hold them down for the road. The Lord Almighty made me. Lord's like God, they changed me. We can see the truth now. Got them looking crazy. Man, I'm always searching. Yeah, you yeah, hear I'm searching. You hear me, boy, 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 I'm searching. Yeah. Searching for the road to the way back. We don't know our father's going way back. Do you know it? Do you know it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We the chosen people, you say no way. Your enemies are teaching you the wrong way. Searching for the road to the way back. We don't know our father's going way back. Do you know it? Do you know it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We the chosen people, you say no way. Your enemies been teaching you the wrong way. Do you know it? Do you know it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know your history? History. Do you know it? Do you know it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know your history? History. Yeah. Do you know it? Do you know it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know it? Tell me, do you know it? Do you know it? Tell me, do you know it? Do you know it? Tell me, do you know it? Do you know it? Tell me, do you know it? Do you know it? Tell me, do you know it? Do you know it? Tell me, do you know it? Do you know it? Tell me, do you know it? Do you know it? Tell me, do you know it? Now we going back, breathing on my back for sure. When I when I let the truth go, we gon' let them know. My people on my back for sure. I hold them, I hold them down for the road. The Lord Almighty made me. Lord's like God, they changed me. We can see the truth now. Got them looking crazy. Man, I'm always searching. Yeah, you hear I'm searching. You hear me, boy, 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 I'm searching. Yeah. Searching for the road to the way back. We don't know our father's going way back. Do you know it? Do you know it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We the chosen people, you say no way. Your enemies are teaching you the wrong way. Searching for the road to the way back. We don't know our father's going way back. Do you know it? Do you know it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We the chosen people, you say no way. Your enemies been teaching you the wrong way. Do you know it? Do you know it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know your history? History. Do you know it? Do you know it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know your history? History. Now 
now we going back Breathing on my back for sure When I, when I let the truth go We gon' let them know My people on my back for sure I hold them, I hold them down for the road The Lord Almighty made me Lord's like God, they changed me We can see the truth now Got them looking crazy Man, I'm always searching Yeah, you hear I'm searching you hear me, boy, I'm searching. 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 Yeah. Searching for the road to the way back. We don't know our father's going way back. Do you know it? Do you know it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We the chosen people, you say no way. Your enemies are teaching you the wrong way. Searching for the road to the way back. We don't know our father's going way back. Do you know it? Do you know it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We the chosen people, you say no way. Your enemies are teaching you the wrong way. Do you know it? Do you know it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know your history? History, history. Do you know it? Do you know it all? Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know your history? History, history. Yeah. Do you know it? Do you know it all? Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know it? Tell me, do you know it? Do you know it? Tell me, do you know it? Do you know it? Tell me, do you know it? Do you know it? Tell me, do you know it? Do you know it? Tell me, do you know it? Do you know it? Now we going back, breathing on my back for sure. When I when I let the truth go, we gon' let them know. My people on my back for sure. I hold them, I hold them down for the road. The Lord Almighty made me. Lord's like God, they changed me. We can see the truth now. Got them looking crazy. Man, I'm always searching. Yeah, you hear I'm searching. You hear me, boy, 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 I'm searching. Yeah. Searching for the road to the way back. We don't know our father's going way back. Do you know it? Do you know it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We the chosen people, you say no way. Your enemies are teaching you the wrong way. Searching for the road to the way back. We don't know our father's going way back. Do you know it? Do you know it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We the chosen people, you say no way. Your enemies are teaching you the wrong way. Do you know it? Do you know it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know your history? History, history. Yeah. Do you know it? Do you know it? Oh. Searching for the road to the way back. We don't know our father's going way back. Do you know it? Do you know it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We the chosen people, you say no way. Your enemies are teaching you the wrong way. Do you know it? Do you know it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know your history? History. Do you know it? Do you know it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know your history? We're back, we're back, we're back again, back again. You are now tuned into our Hidden, Hidden History, History, Hidden History, History Radio, Radio, Radio Show. <laughs> oh my God. That was the worst. <laughs> A high ever. Yeah, we're back, we're back. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the new introduction. I love the new song. <laughs> I love it. The show wow. is everybody in their real, in their real element. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Open ended. We'll leave, we'll leave it open ended. Hey, hey, D, can we give a shout real quick to um, my man, um, Officer Abaddon, oh. real quick? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the Reading Rainbow, bro? All praise. All praise. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's still time. It's still time. All right. Oh, so, God. it's still time. 
Yo, you better don't mess up, bro. Yeah, it's unless you go. We're going to play some new songs for you today. Yep. Oh, uh, <laughs> you better be focused and diligent in your reading skills today. <laughs> yeah. You better pull out your um, freaking yeah. honor student spirit your, somewhere. Your best. <laughs> All right, so anyway, we, um, we're um, coming towards the conclusion of the Assyrian captivity. Uh, we, are in the we are in the preliminaries of the times of the Gentiles because it's not quite the time of the Gentiles. It's leading into it because Assyria is the pretty much the beginning of it. And Babylon pretty much marks the beginning of the time of the Gentiles, the golden head. And we'll get into that. Um, but for now, we are nearing the end or the fall of the Assyrian Empire. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to... Uh, We, we, um, last week we ended off with Tobit. Tobit's father prophesied of the fall of Nineveh and Nebuchadnezzar. Let's go, to, let's go there real quick. Tobit 14, 15. Tobit 14, 15. I want to give Officer Abaddon a chance today to redeem himself. Mm. Interesting. I think you should let it with the, the, the scam, bro. Yo. You got it, man. I believe in you. Take a look. It's in a book. <laughs> a reading <laughs> rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of enemies back there. Bro. I believe in you, man. Oh, you can do it, bro. Man. Tobit 14. Uh, what and 15. You? Tobit 14. You're, you're already messing up, man. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you already forget where I want you to go. You get one chance, man. <sighs> Let's go, man. Tobit 14 and 15. Tobit chapter 14 and verse 15. But before he died, he heard the destruction of Nineveh. Of the Assyrians, go ahead. Which was taken by Nebuchadnezzar. And Ahasuerus. as Ahasuerus, and before his death, he rejoiced over Nineveh, over its destruction. So he rejoiced over Nineveh's destruction. All right. So we're gonna pretty much go into that. All right. So now let's go into um, Tobit died after Assyria pretty much fell. So we're gonna we're gonna read about Assyria's fall now. Let's go to, and we touched on the Falashas last week. I got some more information about that. A lot more information in depth about them and their history being in Ethiopia. And how, how long they've been there. A lot of information is heavy over there. The Tigray, I think we call the Tigrayans. Um, we'll get into that. That's going to be more, that's going to come more so into Babylon time, more so than Assyria. All right, so let's go to, um, mm, give me the web website, livescience.com. Or did I send it to y'all? It's way back. I think that was way back I sent it to y'all. Or did I send it at all? LiveScience.com and it's uh, a fall of Assyria. I didn't send it to y'all, I sent it to y'all now. Y'all got it? Let me see. I'll send it to you now. I'm so, I apologize for that if I didn't send it to you. I thought I sent it to y'all last week. Well, we we used it last time, but I sent it to you again. Here you go. It's in a group me. Hey, there's a echo. Yeah, I hear Some myself. Back. What's going on? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Huh? Okay, you got it. Yes, sir. All right, we're gonna scroll down to. Oh, the... turn your phone down. Sorry. Stop. That's. Of the lacrosse phone? No, it's not. It's on. All right, that's good. We should be good. All right, so we're gonna go. We're gonna scroll down to, um, the fall of Assyria. In the bottom, fall of Assyria should be there. Just scroll down to the bottom. And we are going to start at Wild, and end at Nimrod. Wow. You ready, D? Mm, yeah. Fall of Assyria. While the Assyrians had pushed far to the west, trouble to the west, trouble was brewing in the east. Mm -hmm. During the 7th century BC, Assyrian rulers had to put down a series of rebellions in Babylonia. Meanwhile, a group called the Medes, based in what is now Iran, northern, northern Iran, go ahead, also launched attacks on Assyrian forces. Under attack from two groups while trying to maintain their holdings in the West, the Assyrian military came under pressure. 
The Babylonians became fully independent during the reign of the Babylonian king Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar is the father of Nebuchadnezzar. Go ahead. Reign 625 to 605 B.C. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. In 612 B.C., the Median king... Syaxarus. Syaxarus. So this is the Median king. Median king. Medes. The Japheth. Go ahead. Uh, in 612 B.C., the Median king Syaxarus reigned 625 to 585 B.C. Launched a major attack on Nineveh. On the Assyrians, their capital. Which the Assyrian king... Sin Sharaskin. Sin Sharaskin, uh, who reigned 622 to 612 B.C., tried to stop. So Sin, Sin Sharaskin is the son of... Um, hold on. Is Ashurbanapal. Ashurbanapal. Remember him? We read about him last week. Right. Ashurbanapal. This is his son here. One of his sons. Ashurbanapal or Asnapper back in, um, in Ezra 4 and 10. This is his son. Go ahead. A Babylonian inscription said that the fight for Nineveh went on for a few months. Three battles were fought in that time, following which the Medians, the, uh, the Medians uh, stormed the city itself. The city fell and was destroyed by the Median, the, uh, Median army, who turned the city into ruined hills and heaps of debris. They destroyed it, sir, because the Assyrians were very vicious and cruel to all nations. They conquered, they conquered many, nation, many nations, not a few. They were very vicious. So when they got conquered, they destroyed that place to, to nothing, to ruins. Go ahead. The Assyrians fought further battles by their military. Was but their military. But their military was gradually drained and their territory destroyed or taken over. Mm -hmm. They lost their land piece by piece, land by land. Go ahead, watch this. It's not clear if Sinsharskin died at Nineveh or something or sometime later in a future battle. By 600 BC, the Assyrian kingdom had been completely destroyed. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Go down. Although many Assyrian. Although many Assyrian cities were destroyed uh, or badly damaged. Some Assyrians survived the downfall. Some survived. Go ahead. The survivors and those descended from them lived through a long line of rulers. In the period after the time of Christ, the Assyrians converted to Christianity, a religion which they had kept through present time. Right. And got, can, present day. Mm -hmm. Today, the Assyrian homeland is still in northern Iraq. Right. Go ahead. However, the destruction brought about by the terrorist group um, ISIL, ISIL mm -hmm. also known as ISIS, yep. or Daesh, has resulted in many Assyrians being killed or forced to flee. Because they're Christians. So the Muslims came in and started putting them to death over there. Go ahead. ISIL has also destroyed, looted, or heavily damaged many Assyrian sites, including Nimrud. Right. These heathens came in and they were destroying biblical sites. That's what these heathens do. Anything they come across that's biblical, they destroy or they vandalize it. That's what these heathens do, or, or keep it secret, one or the other. Demonic heathen bastards. Now, let's go to, let's get into the history of Assyria's fall. Um, let's go to Wikipedia now, Battle of Carchemish. Wikipedia, Battle of Carchemish. And we're going to end at Ezekiel 30 in the Bible. Be from the top. And we're going to start at Battle of Carchemish. This is the most important history that wraps up Assyria once and for all. Battle, <clears throat> Battle of Carchemish. Mm -hmm. The Battle of Carchemish was fought about 605 B.C. between the armies of Egypt, allied with the remnants of the army of the former Assyrian Empire, against the armies of Babylonia. Wait, wait, read it again. The Battle of Carchemish was fought... About 605 B.C., mm -hmm. between the armies of Egypt, mm -hmm. allied with the remnants of the army of the former Assyrian Empire. So, so this is referred to as the Assyro-Egyptian War. Assyro-Egyptian War. The Assyrians and Egyptians joined forces to fight against the Babylonians and the Medes. The Medes and Babylonians joined forces against the Assyrians and Egyptians and got smashed because it was their time. Go ahead to fall. Go ahead. Read, um, it, read it one more time. The Battle of Carchemish was fought about 605 B.C. Mm -hmm. Between the armies of Egypt, allied with the remnants of the army of the former Assyrian Empire against the armies of Babylonia, mm -hmm. allied with the Medes. See, the Babylonians allied with the Medes. You're going to find the Medes are a very, very versatile nation because they, they were very weak. They, they were always joined forces or assist with stronger nations, with themselves. 
In this instance, they allied themselves with the Babylonians to overthrow the Assyrians and the allied Egyptians with the Assyrians. So, Go ahead. So, Nick, would that yeah. be the same thing that they allied themselves with Russia and uh, uh, the Medes, uh, Persia, right? Yes. Would it be um, like today? Russia, yeah. Russia the and, Iran, um, Iran and the Russia, yeah. Right. Same thing, yeah. Uh, empire against the armies of Babylonia, allied with the Medes, Persians, and Scythians. There you go. The Medes, Persians, and Scythians, which are other um, former, another version of Iranians or Persians, the Scythians in this instance. Now, of course, Israel was that was also in the midst of in the midst of that group of Scythians as well, because Israel had migrated there during the time of the Assyrian. Remember, we migrated into the Far East because the Scythians were the were an Aryan or Persian nation of people, or Iranian nation of people that pretty much had dominance over what is known as today Russia, part of Russia, towards um, the like black and into, into Europe. Um, oh, that's Russia, is Europe, but like the Near East, to, um, into the interiors of the of Russia, or the between you know, the Black and Caspian Sea, the Scythians were there. All right, that was their land. They were the owners of the Aryan. They were an Aryan race. That's what white folks say. They were the Aryans. No, they're not. The Aryans were the elite Persian or Elamite or Scythian people. Okay, the, like this, if you had the Babylonians, the elite of them were the Chaldeans. The Persians, the elite of them were the Aryans. And so, since the since the Persians or people of, of Elamite descent, which would be Persis or Persians, and Scythians, which would be Iranian peoples, the ancient Iranians that resided there, they were refer, referred to as Aryans. And since, they had, and since they had, in ancient times, possession over Europe or Russia, white folks said, yeah, that's us, we're Aryans, and they adopted that nonsense to themselves. When Aryan, when Aryan does not apply to them. It applies to the ancient Iranians of old time, all right? White folks are not the Aryan nation or Aryan race. That is a lie, like, like, the, like their freaking history is a lie. Their, exist, their freaking her heritage is a lie. Go ahead. This battle is also mentioned in Ezekiel chapter 30 in the Bible. Let's get that. Ezekiel 30, one and down. Ezekiel 30, one and down. Regarding the, um, the battle of the Egyptians being overthrown. Ezekiel chapter 30 and verse 1. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord God, How ye? Woe, wrath the day. Woe, worth the day. Worth. For the day is near. Even the day of the Lord is near. A cloudy day. It shall be the time of the heathen. Come on. And the sword shall come upon Egypt. Upon Egypt. Go ahead. And great pain shall be in Ethiopia. Cush. When the slain shall fall in Egypt, and they shall take away her multitude, and her foundations shall be broken down. Ethiopia and Libya... And Lydia, and all the mingled people, and Chub, and the men of the land that is in league, shall fall with them by the sword. In league with who? We'll find out. Read on. Thus saith the Lord, they also that uphold Egypt. Egypt. They uphold, they uphold, uphold or support Egypt. Go ahead. Shall fall, and the pride of her power shall come down. Egypt. Go ahead. From the tower of Syene shall they fall in it by the sword, saith the Lord God. And they shall be desolate in the midst of the countries that are desolate. And her cities shall be in the midst of the cities that are wasted. Come on. And they shall know that I am the Lord when I have set a fire in Egypt. And when all her helpers shall be destroyed. All her allies. Going back to Libya, going back to Ethiopia, going back to Ladia, Chub, mingled people. Go ahead. And that day shall messengers go forth from me in ships to make the careless Ethiopians afraid. And great pain shall come upon them, as in the day of Egypt. For lo, it cometh. Watch this. Thus saith the Lord God, I will also make the multitude of Egypt to cease by the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. Here you go. E e Egypt's fall. Go ahead. He and his people with him. His allies, the Medes, Persians. Go ahead. The terrible of the nations shall be brought to destroy the land, and they shall draw their swords against Egypt. And fill the land with the slain. Come on. And I will make the rivers dry and sell the land into the hand of the wicked. And I will make the land waste 
and all that is therein by the hand of strangers, mm -hmm. I, the Lord, have spoken it. Come on. Thus saith the Lord God, I will also destroy the idols, and I will cause their images to cease out of Noth, and there shall be no more a prince of the land of Egypt, and I will put a fear in the land of Egypt, Come on. and I will make Pathros desolate. Pathros is upper Egypt. Egypt is lower Egypt. Go ahead. And will set fire in Zoan, and will execute judgment in No. Mm -hmm. And I will pour my fury upon Sin, the strength of Egypt, and I will cut off the multitude of No. Come on. And I will set a fire in Egypt. Sin shall no shall have great pain, and No shall be rent asunder. And North shall have distress daily. Remember, Israel loved Egypt. Israel believed that Egypt was unstoppable. But the Lord said, nope, I'm going to set up a nation that's going to destroy them before your eyes. Go ahead. The young men of Avon and of Pibaseth shall fall by the sword, and these cities shall go into captivity. Mm -hmm. At Tehephanes. At Tehephanes also the day shall be darkened, when I shall break there the yokes of Egypt. And the pomp of her strength shall cease in her. As for her, a cloud shall cover her, and her daughter shall go into captivity. Come on. Thus will I execute judgments in Egypt, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass in the eleventh year, in the first month, in the seventh day of the month, that the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, I have broken the arm of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, mm -hmm. and lo, it shall not be bound up to be healed to put a roller to bind it, to make it strong to hold the sword. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against Pharaoh, king of Egypt, mm -hmm. and I will break his arms, the strong, and that which was broken, and I will cause the sword to fall out of his hand. Mm -hmm. And I will scatter the Egyptians among the nations. Nebuchadnezzar did that. He scattered, he displaced the nations like the Assyrians. Did. He followed the same thing as the Assyrians, the moving nations from their land, and putting, nations, and putting nations in their land in their place. Go ahead. And I will disperse them through the countries. Mm -hmm. And I will strengthen the arms of the king of Babylon and put my sword in his hand. Take it out of Egypt's hand, put it in um, Babylon's hand. But I will break Pharaoh's arms, and he shall groan before him with the groanings of a deadly wounded man. Mm -hmm. But I will strengthen the arms of the king of Babylon, and the arms of Pharaoh shall fall down, and they shall know that I am the Lord. When I shall put my sword in the hand of the king of Babylon, and he shall stretch it out upon the land of Egypt, mm -hmm. and I will scatter the Egyptians among the nations and disperse them among the countries, and they shall know that I am the Lord. And of course, eventually the Egyptians were allowed to return back to their land a little after that. Israel did not. Israel returned to the land, but not all 12. Okay, Primarily the, the um, remnants, remnants of northern kingdom. In the majority of southern kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, they returned to rebuild. In remnants of northern kingdom, but for the most part, the nine or the northern kingdom remained scattered abroad. In remnants of southern kingdom also remained scattered abroad. The Egyptians returned to their land. We did not. All right? So Nebuchadnezzar did this to the Egyptians, Moab, Ammon, to Edom. A lot of nations were, were displaced because of Babylon. That's how Moab and Ammon ended up over in the far east. Because he puts them over there. That's how a lot of us end up in Spain. Because he put us over there too. That's how we got in Spain. During Babylon's reign, secular, secular history tells you he, shipped the, he sent us over there during this time. Bab no, I'm Nebuchadnezzar. But we're going we're, we're to get into that later on. So, so Deacon, pretty much all the uh, captivities that we were in, they always, the, uh, the nations that we were under always had a habit of deporting us to other lands. Well, start with Assyria, yes. Starting with Assyria. Start with Assyria and Babylon, yes. Per that ended with those two. We'll start with those two, ended with those two. Persia didn't do that. The Greeks didn't do that. The Romans didn't do that. But those two nations were responsible for what became what known as the diaspora. Those two. The Assyrians right. are the forerunners of what we know of as the diaspora of the 12 tribes. Assyria and Babylon. Who shared the same practice of conquering nations and displacing them. All right, so now, Let's go to um, Carchemish and that Babylonians. We, start, we, we finished that already, Carchemish? Go back to it again. I don't think we finished the whole thing. We go back to it. What do we stop at? We stopped at Ezekiel 30, right? Yes, sir. All right, go Battle of Carchemish, go to when the, when the Assyrian. All right, when the Assyrian capital, Nineveh, was overrun by the Medes, Scythians. We're going to stop at Babylonians. Go ahead. 
Babylonians, and their allies in 612 B.C. The Assyrians moved their capital to Haran. When Haran was captured by the alliance in 609 B.C. Uh, 609, keep that in mind. Go ahead. Ending the Assyrian Empire, remnants of the Assyrian army joined Carchemish. Mm-hmm. They joined the Carchemish. Go ahead. A city under Egyptian rule. A city of Egyptian rule. Go on ahead. the on the Euphrates River. On by the Euphrates. Go ahead. Egypt, a former vassal of Assyria. A former ser- a, a servant of e- Assyria. Go ahead. Was allied with the Assyrian king Ashur Ubalit II. Ashur, uh, Ashur Ubalit II is the other son of Ashur Banipal. This is Sim Shurikun's brother. This is Sin Shurikun's brother. Okay, Asher, um, Asher Banipal's son. Go ahead. And marched in 609 B.C. to his aid against the Babylonians. And marched to his aid, the Egyptians' aid, so against the Babylonians in 609 B.C. Okay, against the Babylonians. So you had the Assyrians and the Egyptians come together to fight against the Babylonians in their last stand against Babylon at Carchemish near the Euphrates River. Right? So you had the Egyptians and the Assyrians fight a battle against the Babylonians. Now... Let's get, um, if that's in the Bible. Let's see if that's accounted in the Bible. Let's get um, mm, 2 Kings 22, verse 1. All right, 2 Kings. So the battle, the Assyro-Egyptian war that took place at Kark, um, at Haran, at Kark, or Karkamish, Near the Euphrates. Let's see if that's historically or biblically documented as a battle that took place, leading to the fall of the Assyrians. Second Kings 22, verse 1. And we're going to read the verse uh, 11. Second Kings chapter 22 and verse 1. Josiah was eight years old when he began to reign. Eight-year-old boy became king. Go ahead. And he reigned 30 and one years in Jerusalem. Mm-hmm. And his mother's name was Jedida the daughter of Adiah of Boscov. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord. This Josiah is the son, I believe, of Hezekiah. Let me, let me see. Amen. Of who? Amen. Of, well, you know, second. Amy's uh, a, Amy, yeah, Amon, Amon. Am, Amon, yeah. yeah Amon, is, I think Amon was the devil. Yeah, Amon was terrible. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry. I, I say that. Uh, yeah, he was, he was terrible. I'm sorry. Yeah, he said the wicked reigns of Manasseh Jesus and Amon. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, but Manasseh <laughs> repented, though. <laughs> right. This guy didn't. Go ahead. So he followed in the footsteps of Hezekiah, Josiah here. Go ahead. And he did that was right in the sight of the Lord Mm -hmm. and walked in all the way of David, his father. Right. And turned not aside to the right hand or to the left. He was righteous. Go ahead. And it came to pass in the 18th year of King Josiah that the king sent Shaphan, the son of Azaliah, the son of Meshulam, the scribe to the house of the Lord, saying, Go up to Hilkiah, the high priest that he may sum the silver which is brought into the house of the Lord. Temple. Go, he can count the money that's in the house of the Lord. Go ahead. We had money. Treasury. Go ahead. Which the keepers of the door have gathered of the people, and let them deliver it into the hand of the doers of the work that have the oversight of the house of the Lord, and let them give it to the, the doers of the work which is in the house of the Lord to repair the breaches of the house. To fix it. Take the money that goes to the temple and have them repair it. Fix any, fix any damage. Go ahead. Unto carpenters and builders and masons, and to buy timber and hewn stone to repair the house. Mm-hmm. Howbeit, there was no reckoning made with them of the money that was delivered into their hands. So it says, Howbeit, there was no money, there was no reckoning made with them of the money that was de- delivered into their hand. Why? Because they dealt faithfully. So he, he didn't ask them to give them an account of how much money they spent because these men were faithful enough to be trusted with the money when it came to the temple with reparations. Because remember, on these under Ammon, or the under the wicked kings of Judah, they were pretty much damaging the temple, breaking the, breaking the pieces from it, taking things from it, and, and so forth, or worshiping idols. So Josiah said, "We're going to be we're going to repair the damage that's been done to the temple here, and fix it." All right, go ahead. Go on with verse that seven. Verse eight. Verse eight. Go ahead. And Hilkiah the high priest said unto Shaphan the scribe, "I have found the book of the law in the house of the Lord." And Hilkiah gave the book to Shaphan, and he read it. And Shaphan the scribe came to the king and brought the king word again and said, Thy servants have gathered the money that was found in the house and have delivered it into the hand of the men that do the work, that have the oversight of the house of the Lord. 
And Shaphan the scribe shewed the king, saying, Hilkiah the priest have delivered me a book. And Shaphan read it before the king. And it came to pass, when the king had heard the words of the book of the law, that he rent his clothes. Because Israel was not keeping the law at this time. They were going the hell off. Go ahead. That was, uh, you said verse 11, D? Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Um, so, so King Josiah rents his clothes because he realized that Israel was in, is in the midst of breaking the laws that, he, that were read to him in the book of the law. Okay. Angered him. Now jump to verse 17 to 20. Verse 17. Because they have forsaken me. And have burned incense unto other gods, that they might provoke me to anger with all the works of their hands. Therefore, my wrath shall be kindled against this place, and shall not be quenched. So the Lord said, despite how righteous you are, Josiah, I'm going to punish Judah, because they're wicked and evil as hell. Despite, you be, despite your works. Continue. But to the king of Judah, which sent you to inquire of the Lord, thus shall ye say unto him, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, as touching the words which thou hast heard. Because thine heart was tender, and thou hast humbled thyself before the Lord, when thou heardest what I spake against this place, and against the inhabitants thereof, that they should become a desolation and a curse, and hast rent thy clothes, and wept before me, I also have heard thee, saith the Lord. Come on. Behold, therefore, I will gather thee unto thy fathers, and thou shalt be gathered into thy grave in peace. So die peacefully, go ahead. Well, and sort of, go ahead. And thine eyes shall not see all the evil which I will bring upon this place. And they brought the, the word, sorry, and, and they, they brought, brought the king, king word again. again. So he said, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put you to death, but you're not going to see the evil I'm bringing to this land based upon the acts of your, fall, of your father and before him. I'm going to bring them. I'm gonna, I'm, so you're going to rest in peace. You're not going to live to see what I do to your people when you're gone. That's what he meant by rest in peace. Now go to the next chapter. Um, 23, and we're going to be verse 1 to 7 again. Then we're going to jump to 25. Yes, sir. Second Kings chapter 23, verse 1. And the king sent, and they gathered unto him all the elders of Judah and of Jerusalem. And the king went up into the house of the Lord, and all the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem with him, and the priests and the prophets and all the people, both small and great. And he read in their ears all the words of the book of the covenant, which was found in the house of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And the king stood by a pillar and made a covenant before the Lord to walk after the Lord and to keep his commandments and his statutes and sorry and, and his, his testimonies, testimonies mm -hmm. and his statutes with all their heart and all their soul to perform the words of this covenant that were written in this book. And all the people stood to the covenant. So decides to listen, from now on, we're going to keep the laws of this Bible. We're going to keep the commandments of God this day forward. Watch this. And the king commanded Hilkiah the high priest and the priests of the second order and the keepers of the door to bring forth out of the temple of the Lord all the vessels that were made for Baal and for the grove and for all the hosts of heaven. Other gods. And he burned them without Jerusalem in the fields of Kedron. 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 Mm -hmm. And carried the ashes of them unto Bethel. Mm -hmm. And he put down the adulterous priests. He killed the adulterous priests. Whom the kings of Judah had ordained to burn incense in the high places in the cities of Judah and in the places round about Jerusalem. Them also that burned incense unto Baal, to the sun, and to the moon, and to the planets. And to worshiping planets, the constellations. Go ahead. And to all the hosts of heaven. And he brought out. Moon, stars, sun, they're worshiping, all that nonsense. Go ahead. And he brought out the grove. From in other words, the he killed. I'm sorry. In other words, he killed the astrologers. That's what he was doing. Go ahead. And he brought out the grove from the house of the Lord without Jerusalem unto the brook Kedron and burned it at the brook Kedron and stamped it small to powder and cast the powder thereof upon the graves of the children of the people. <laughs> Read again. And he brought out the grove from the house of the Lord without Jerusalem unto the brook Kedron and burned it at the brook Kedron and stamped it small to powder. And cast the powder thereof upon the graves of the children of, sorry, of the children of the people. Right, go ahead. And he break down the houses of the Sodomites. Did what? And he break down the houses of the Sodomites. He destroyed the houses. They had Sodomite homes, Sodomite houses. The hell is this? Damn. Go ahead. That were by the house of the Lord. They had homosexual houses by the by the temple of the Lord. A place to go and, you know, do their nastiness. Go ahead, watch this. Where the woman wove hangings for the grove. See, the, see who was there with him? The woman. 
Like today, you have the homos around. Who with them? Women. Women. Black women. Y'all always around these dudes. Always. The hell is That's this? why Josiah killed them. He killed them too. You got to put the death. Nothing new under the sun. You find a, a, a sodomite Israelite man, you find a, a freaking heterosexual Israelite woman. Can't make it up. And literally, they're trying to literally be you and replace you. Verse 25 to 30. Verse 25. And like unto him was there no king before him. There's, that, there's no king like him after this. Go ahead. That turned to the Lord with all his heart and with all his soul mm -hmm. and with all his might, according to all the law of Moses. Neither after him arose there any like him. Notwithstanding, the Lord turned not from the fierceness of his great wrath, wherewith his anger was kindled against Judah. The Lord said, I'm still mad at Judah. I love, I love this guy, but I'm still, mad at Israel. I'm still mad at Judah. He already he got angry at Ephraim and threw their ass into captivity and scattered them abroad. He said, now my eyes are set on Judah. Go ahead. Because of all the provocations that Manasseh had provoked him with all. Because Manasseh... Despite his repentance, he was doing some major evil. And I mean major evil, major bad. So to the point where the Lord was mad at Judah for his, through his children. He said, I'm mad at Manasseh, man. He repented, but I'm pissed at him for that stuff he was doing. Go ahead. And the Lord said, I will remove Judah also out of my sight. Because Manasseh's actions damaged Judah. It, it passed on to the people. All these things your side is removing... Manasseh was the one that implemented it. Manasseh pretty much did the same thing that Ephraim was doing and worse. He did what Jeroboam did and worse. And so it passed on to the people. So Josiah was pretty much do, um, repairing the damage that his great-grandfather Manasseh had done. That his, his father Hezekiah could not, com could not completely fix. Like we're moving the Sodomites out and so forth. Go ahead. And the Lord said, I will remove Judah also out of my sight. As I have removed Israel, Ephraim, go ahead, and will cast off the city Jerusalem which I have chosen, and the house which I have said my name shall be there. Now the rest of the acts of Josiah and all that he did are they not written in the books book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah? Now, so the reason why it's important is because kings, write this down if you like. Kings emphasizes the history more so on the northern kingdom. Kings is the Emphasis on northern kingdom situations. That's why you read more about Ahab and his wife and so forth in Kings, and you certainly read about it in Chronicles, because Kings favors the northern kingdom. Chronicles favors the southern kingdom. All right? Chronicles is more so Judah kings. Kings is more so Ephraim kings in detail. All right? Continue. Verse 29. In his days, Pharaoh Necho, king of Egypt, went up against the king of Assyria. Ah, remember that name from last week? Right. Pharaoh Nico. Remember, Pharaoh Nico the first died, and he set up Samti the first in his stead. But this is Pharaoh Nico the second here, his son. Pharaoh Nico the second was set up by the Assyrians. So read again. And his days. His days is Josiah's days when he was still alive. What? Pharaoh Nico, king of Egypt, went up against the king of Assyria that? to the river Euphrates. To the river where? Euphrates. What's by that river? Carchemish. Go ahead. And he slew at him at Megiddo. No, no, read again. And King Josiah went against him. Read from the top. I'm sorry. Read from the top. I'll yes, cut sir. you off. Read from the top. Verse 29. In his days, Pharaoh Necho, king of Egypt, went up against the king of Assyria to the river Euphrates. Uh -huh. And King Josiah went against him. Went against Pharaoh Necho. Go ahead. And slew him at Megiddo when he had seen him. And his servants carried him in a chariot dead from Megiddo and brought him to Jerusalem, and buried him in his own sepulcher. And the people of the land took Jehoaz, the son of Josiah, and anointed him, and made him king in his father's stead. So, so King Josiah meddled in a, in, a, in, a, in a battle of the Assyrians and the Egyptians. That's that same battle in the Euphrates we read about earlier at Carchemish. Now, let's get Second Chronicles 35, 19. That gives us more detail of that history regarding King Josiah being killed by Pharaoh Necho in this war. Second Chronicles chapter 35 and verse 19. In the, in the 18th year of the reign of Josiah was this Passover kept. 
After all this, when Josiah had prepared the temple, Nico, king of Egypt, mm -hmm. came up to fight against Carchemish by Euphrates. Uh huh. Again, by where? By Euphrates. What against to fight against Carchemish by the Euphrates? To fight against who? Their last stand against the Babylonians. This is the Assyro Egyptian War, the last stand of the against the Babylonians. At this point, this is the 605 BC, I believe. Go ahead. And Josiah went out against him. And Josiah went out against Pharaoh Necho in the midst of him fighting against the Assyrians along with the Egyptians. I mean, again, along with the Assyrians to fight against the Babylonians. <laughs> Let me rewind it. Pharaoh, um, Josiah went up against the Egyptian Pharaoh Necho while he was while he was fighting against the Babylonians. Okay, so you had the uh, um, with the Assyrians. So you have Pharaoh Necho, allied with the Assyrians, fighting against the Babylonians at Carchemish near the Euphrates. King Josiah decided to meddle in that battle. All right, now watch this. Read. But he sent ambassadors to him, saying, "What I what have I to do with thee, thou king of Judah? Why are you here? This doesn't concern you, King Josiah. Mind your business." Is what he's telling him. Go ahead. I came not against thee this day. I'm not against you. I'm not, I'm not against you at all. Because remember, the, remember, the Egyptians and Judah and so forth and the Assyrians, they're enemies. Because if the Assyrians are allied with the Egyptians, by default, they're enemies of Israel because Assyria was conquering everybody. So Josiah said, you guys are going to war? I'm going to fight. He said, listen, right now, we're not enemies. I'm trying to fight these Babylonians right here. Mind your business. Stay in your lane. I'm, we're good here. Watch this. But against the house wherewith I have war, for God commanded me to make haste. He said, God has told me to fight against the Babylonians. Mind your business. God is involved in this. Remember, the, the nations had a form of knowledge of our God. They had their own gods, but they had a knowledge of ours as well. From the time of Egypt, they knew about the God of Israel. It's undeniable. Right. So he said, listen, the God has told me that I must fight against these Babylonians. This is not, this don't concern you. Mind your business. What? Read on. Forbear thee from meddling with God. Don't who, involve yourself in God's business. Go ahead. Who is with me, that he destroy thee not. He won't destroy you. Go ahead. Watch this. Nevertheless, Josiah would not turn his face from him. Decide and listen to him. Go ahead. But this but disguise himself Damn. that he might fight with him Go ahead. and hearken not unto the words of Nico from the mouth of God See? and came to fight in the valley of Megiddo. Megiddo huh? and the That's where the word Armageddon comes from. Armageddon comes from the word Megiddo, the valley of Megiddo or Megiddon. Megiddon, Armageddon, Megiddo is the same place. The valley of decision, the valley of Jehoshaphat, it's the same place. Go ahead. And the archers shot at King Josiah. So Pharaoh Nicholas archers spotted him and said, that's, that's freaking Josiah over there. His archers shot at him. Go ahead. And the king said to his servants, have me away. Get me out of here. For I am sore wounded. I'm hurt. Go ahead. His servants, therefore, took him out of, the, of, out of that chariot and put him in the second chariot that, ha that, that he, he had. had. And they brought him to Jerusalem, and he died and was buried in one of the sepulchers of his fathers. And all Judah and Jerusalem mourned for Josiah. Watch this. And Jeremiah lamented for Josiah. Jeremiah was devastated because Josiah was a righteous man. One of the few righteous men left of the kings of Judah. One of the few, very few left kings. So Jeremiah, Jeremiah lamented him. Go ahead. And all the singing men and the singing women spake of Josiah in their lamentations to this day and made, their or made them an ordinance in Israel. And behold, they are written in the Lamentations. Mm -hmm, lamentations. So what's happened? So Lamentations is a lot longer. But we have we have a guy left us. Uh, in Lamentations, originally he wrote about Josiah's death and so forth, and how the Babylonians were eventually going to come and destroy us. That's in Lamentations still. Okay. So Jeremiah mourned for this man. So Josiah involved himself in the Battle of Carchemish. You read about earlier and got killed in that same year. All right. Um, regarding the battle of the, which is the last stand of the Assyrians, joined with the, with the Egyptians, and Babylon destroyed them. Now, let's get, um, real quick, uh, what I want. Give me Dirk Lang. Now we're going to go into that now. Dirk Lang. Now we can read a lot now. <laughs> well, let's get this now. <laughs> 
for a reason. Hey, Deacon. Yeah. This actually, uh, this part with Josiah fighting against uh, King Nico is actually recording a history called the Battle of Megiddo. Right. Yeah. Battle of Megiddo. Yep. Yeah. That's it. The Battle of Megiddo, which was the Battle of Carchemish. Same place. Mm. Damn. So all, all King Josiah had to do is mind his business. Mm -hmm. yeah. But he wasn't meant to. He had to die because the Lord said, I'm going to bring evil upon this land. You can't be alive when it happens. Right. So the Lord removed him from the world mm. for that reason. So he wouldn't see it. And that's it's heavy because that 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 um battle was so you could say I guess uh in, uh famous that even Rev John Rev John Revelations he says the Battle of Armageddon, mm -hmm. the Battle of Megiddo. It's gonna be another, it's gonna be another one again mm. regarding our captors Egypt, Iran, right. Iraq, um and America America which would be Egypt. So it's kind of the same thing. That's why it's called Armageddon because in a way it's the same thing gonna happen again. Only different involving another Egypt, involving Iran again, and involving Iraq again, which who, who happened to have nukes. Okay? Spiritual mm. Egypt. It's all spiritual Egypt, right? So it's the same Damn. battle is going to take place again. Another battle of Megiddo or Armageddon. Dang. I saw John references it as Armageddon. Armageddon. Okay? That's the Greek form of Megiddo. So would this have been considered a, a world war at this time? You can say that. Uh, 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 yeah, superpowers. Uh, yeah, superpowers, the main world powers. World. Yeah, right. you have Babylon, a power, Assyria, Egypt, were all power. Ethiopia, right. were all a power at the time. They're all fighting. Yeah, yeah. Be a world war, right? And Israel got involved. They weren't we weren't supposed to. That was a heathen business. Just like I got involved. The Lord <laughs> moved him to do it. The Lord moved him to do it, of course. Right. And he got put to death. So does that go into uh, men's ways uh, of the, the Lord? The Lord, right? All right. Mm -hmm. Because he told him you're gonna go in peace. Right. That's, like That's why I said earlier, I said kind of go in peace. He got hit with the water marrows. Right, right. And it said peace, it meant he would go in peace as he would not live to see the destruction coming to Judah. Right. After Because once, remember, once, once that battle took place, who became the victor? Babylon. Who, who overthrows Judah? Babylon. Damn. Um, where we at? Uh, <laughs> earlier, right, yes, it's called The York Lang. It's a, it's a PDF. It's a link. It's a link to a website I sent y'all. That I sent y'all last week. That right there, that's it. New York Lion, that's it. Now, it's a long, uh, now I know where to go. Because last time I was kind of all over the place. You know, I was trying to my, heart, my hardest to pull from it. And I don't, I don't like to be all over the place. I have to be precise. Um, the first thing I want to do is I want to go to uh, Norton, West African Nations first. And I want page 169 and 170. I want that first. Then we're going to tie in, into this. Yeah, Judge, you got it, man. Yes, sir. Now, remember, the battle of Carchemish was between Egypt. Now, the Assyro, matter of fact, let me get deeper. Go back to that. Go to that whole list, too. Get Bring that it. map. Get Bring that it out, map. Deke. Get that map. The red map, you know I want. The, um, the uh, God B map. Lost tribes. I want that map. Just to, to refresh your memory from last week. I don't know some of y'all. You know, Jake, our memories are very short. <laughs> Hey, D. Wait, 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 what what's today? <laughs> I'm the same way. I mess around thinking it's Thursday and it's freaking Monday. Especially all the names that we went through since we've been dealing with the Assyrian yeah, Empire. Yeah, Sim Shurakun and yeah. Asher, <laughs> Ben Papalapa. <laughs> what his name was? Ben Bellet. <laughs> you know, so uh yeah, this is a this is a, a very good history with the Assyrian Empire. So Deke is diving into depth of what really right. went down. So I need y'all to blow this up because everything else on the left hand side is irrelevant to me. Just blow it up, go toward Libyan Desert. Go up. Up, 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 up. Right there. Yeah. Blow that, blow that up some more if you can. You should see Samtik. There you go. There you go. That's what I want to see. Samtik right there, BC. See that there? Now Sig go over, you're going to see it says garrison. Move over to your left. Nope, to your, yeah, go yeah, right there. See what it says? Jewish garrisons. You see that? Samtik the first. I think that's 640 BC. 640. Well, 640 it says? Yes, sir. That's the first. That's the 640? Yeah, like I said, 640. Let me see. Mm. Either or 540. I think that's 540. That can't be 640. It can't be 640. It's got to be 540. Because that's the same thing was around the Syrian time. 640 is after. Nah, it does look like a 540, though. Yeah. 40? Let right, me see so it. 540. Blow it up. 540 or 640? Not the 40. 
There is a there is a That's a five, right? Yeah, there's a gap. Uh, on yeah, the, it's like a five. Yeah. That's a five. Yeah, it can't be six forty. I'd be out of order. I'd be out. Of, I'd be out of history. It all yep. makes sense. That makes more sense. Remember, he, remember I read, you, read it last week about how he set up Samtik the first. He yes, set him sir. Up yes, sir. During a Syrian time, so it can't be after, because they fell at six oh nine. Right. So okay. That'd be five forty. That make more sense. So you have Samtik there. You have Jewish garrisons, because Israel fought in that war. Israel fought near Syro. Um, Egyptian war against the Babylonians and the Medes and Persians, Israel was involved in that war. We had, they had us in, their, in their military. There's no way you're going to fight. A, there's, no, there's no heathen army in existence that Israel didn't fight in. None. Every battle, every war, especially a decisive battle, Israel was always involved in those wars. Historically, they say Moses fought in, as a, um, a commander of the Egyptian armies. Moses was a warrior. He was no regular man. That's, that's, that's according to secular information. Right, right. But um, they say he was also fighting in, fighting in the wars as well. Um, Zubabel, Persian army. You had Israel, Judah, and, um, and Babylonian army. Israel was, we were warriors. We were a nation of warriors. So don't think for one second he wasn't fighting in these wars. But it's definitely it's historically documented that Northern Kingdom was involved in this Assyrian war here. And they got their ass beat. They got destroyed. Got destroyed. Some of us fought with Alexander too. We, we fought was in him, the, yeah. With, um, Alexander. Yep. So let's. Uh, so you saw Samtik there, and then eventually Nico took over, and then Nico the, Nico the first died, and then there was a revolt going on over there, and then Nico the second took over. That's the that's the Nico that killed Josiah. So now what I what I want this for? I wanted this for. Nah. Well, do you Sean? You talking about the map? Yeah, the map. I want the map for, yeah, this that part right there. Yeah, the Sam and then yeah, you the show Sam the garrisons. So the garrisons, right? So now go to this book here, Norton. So that's Egypt right there. All right. So empire. Blow it up more. Try to fill up the page. There you go. All right. It says northern Egypt. Den was the most known portion of the globe, mm -hmm. and into it, vast immigration took place from time to time, even to the most remote period. The ten tribes of Israel, Northern Kingdom, after they were left to follow the dictates of their own mind and during the commotion and destructive warfare which ensued to escape utter extermination. The Assyrians, Babylonians, go ahead. Migrated. You moved, go ahead. According to the usage of the times. In vast numbers into various countries, mm -hmm. like in, I showed you that last week, India, ap, um, further into Africa, like, the, like right here, go ahead. But principally into northern Africa. Principally, primarily, we fled further into northern Africa, tying into what the Moors, Mauritania, tying into what Hannibal and them, right. Barca. That's tra that, that's Carthage. Go ahead. That's where Ashenam got over there. Go ahead, because remember, remember, we migrated over there. From the time of 800 BC up until this time, go ahead. With the uh, Princess Dido, Princess Dido, go ahead. As it then presented the safest and easiest route, mm -hmm. once settled, every commotion and intestine, intestine war had the most powerful effect of inducing these bands to shift their abode still further. So from northern Africa, but anything popped over, you moved further and further what west. That's West Africa, right there. Go ahead. And so lose all connection with the other branch of the tribe. And we will lose connection with the other branches of the tribes. Go ahead. As hundreds of years pass on, and generation after generation rolled away, uh -huh. they lose a great many of their habits and customs. We begin to forget our identity. There you go. That's ten tribes lost all over the damn place. Go ahead. Becoming more amalgamated. Becoming more intermingled. Amalgamated means mixed. Mingled. That's in India. That's in Africa. That's in China. Intermingled. Iraq, Iran. Go ahead. With the population. The Assyrians. The Syrians. Go ahead. With which they associate. With which associate. they associate. Go ahead. But when Mohammedanism. When Islam came about. Overspread Northern Africa. When the, when the Turks came over and took over. Go ahead. Destroying by fire and sword all those of another. All those of another 
religion. Uh huh. That'll be, that'll be. Watch this. The Israelitish descendants are the inhabitants of occupying the central portion of Africa. Pass forward. We ran more. Go ahead. Seeking shelter to the south and west. We saw, so we ran further into South Africa, or we migrated further toward the west, trying to avoid the Arabs, who eventually found us anyway. Because the curses ensued. The curses pursued us. Go ahead. A part, namely those from the east central, crossing the Benu or Jaluba branch of the Nigger. Niger River, Niger River, go ahead. Descended gradually southward mm -hmm. and became intermingled with the original inhabitants. Hamites, you mingle with them, go ahead. Protected the from. The go ahead. Protected from incursion on the north by the Benue River and quietly settled between the Great Nigger and Old Caliber Rivers. They remain in peace. We were good. We remained in that wilderness that Revelation talks about. Revelation, that wilderness. Go ahead. And grew from one generation to another in idolatry. Because we mingled ourselves with the Hamites and learned what? That voodoo, that Oba, the Obi, yeah, all yeah. that other nonsense. Go ahead. But still leaving tangible proofs in the form of their religion. But we still had among the Hamite customs what? Religion of the Judaistic origin of the inhabitants. But we still maintain forms of Judaism, letting you know where we originally came from. Go ahead. After this uh, slight digression, we now we will now proceed to investigate more particulars re uh, re uh, relative to the tribes under consideration. The language, or the little of it that is known, is full Hebrewisms. Still full Hebrewisms. Go ahead. The constructions of sentence. The verbal significations, the mode of comparison, are all typical of the Hebrew. We still had remnants of Hebrew we spoke among ourselves in parts of Africa. Okay, the ten tribes that, that ran there. Okay, remnants of the ten that ran there. Now, let's go back. Let's go to that Dirk Lang now. D, can we um? There's more. Well, can we get a, a map of the Benue and the Juluba? Yes, get a map of that. And the, that, of that. that area. Just to show where they were, where they ran. The area. And uh, old Calabar, Calabar rivers. And and again, it's crazy how that actually affects us today, right? So once I look at the Northern Kingdom, their whole history and their gods that they actually uh, worship and all that concerns more towards uh, Assyria, mm -hmm. uh, Babylon, and all that. So when it comes to the Southern Kingdom, they're more into pan uh, pan Africanism mm -hmm. and so forth. So that shows you how it did affect us a lot down the down the way. Down we the went to the north. So we got northern gods and all that stuff. We right. went into all that idolatry. Right. So the ten tribes, remember the ten tribes that fled into the areas of Africa and so forth, don't think for a second they didn't come over this side of the world. Because there was connection between us on, the, on us on in the Americas and us in West Africa because there's history, I, I, I may go into that, where there was a communication between us in West Africa and the natives in the Americas because the, the, wind, the, the wind gusts blow westward. So if there's any, most of the storms or hurricanes, they come from Africa and they blow westward. If, if you get lost, for example, if you're in a boat in Africa, on the western, western front of Africa, and the, you get in a storm, you're blowing right to Central America. You're going to go right that direction. Yeah, you You'll always that. end there. Always, huh? You did touch that in the first yes, season. Yes, I did. In the, first, I in the yeah. first season, that you, uh, the winds blow westward, always. That's why when the slave ships left um, Africa, they just, they just set sail. Let the wind take them over there. Because it takes you right across the water. The West Africa will take you right to Brazil. Or Central America will take you right there. So there was, much, there was communication between Northern Kingdom and West Africa, and Northern Kingdom and, and, um, and America. And that's what the white man knew where to take the slaves when he brought us over here. He said, okay, we killed Issachar. Let's bring Issachar from over here. We killed Ephraim. Let's bring Ephraim over there. We killed Manasseh. Let's replenish what we conquered over here. And bring them over there and make more of them. Right, like um, there's a uh, um, a website called slavevoyages.org yes. that I've been looking at, and they have a lot. Of, they have detailed information on the ships, the captain's name, and where they got a lot of us from. And when you look, when you go to slavevoyages.org, when you look up uh, around the 1500s, have all the years, and you look around the 1500s, you will see all the ships that went to Veracruz, went to uh, um, Brazil, and so forth. They came from West Central Africa. Mm -hmm. A lot of them, like yep. Luanda, Benguela, uh, Cabinda, and uh, Angola, and so forth right. and so on. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of Brazilians are taken from Angola. A lot of Brazilians came from Angola. All right, blow that. Uh, get, yeah, you still ain't got the map yet? 
All right, blow, just blow that up. Just blow that area up right there. So a lot of y'all think they're the 12 tribes charge. You don't believe it. You don't have to believe nothing. You don't have to believe a damn thing. Well, let's just say also, just for devil's advocate, let's just say a 12 tribes chart is wrong. Let's just say it's false, right? I'm yet to see an accurate one. We've yet to see anyone present a better one. Um, and, and also, you have, to, you have to explain to us who the 12 tribes are today. You can't say they're all in Africa, but the truth didn't start there. The truth started here. Why did the truth start here if we're all in Africa? Why did it start over there in Africa then, if we're all over there? No, no, damn, no damn sense. Who was teaching in Africa who we are in Israel? Were they, teaching, were they having street teaching in Africa over there before, we, before it came over here? No. The bulk of all 12 are here. And remnants of that 12 are everywhere else. So, hey, brothers, put in uh, the Joloba, Joluba River or the, ben, uh, the Benyu River. We just want to show where that area is at. Just the, you can put just the rivers and it should pop up. So those of y'all who decide to, to, to be to second guess or have doubts on the 12 tribes and so forth list, that's fine. Just understand that everyone on that list is Israel, period. And there's remnants of that 12 all over the world that the Lord is going to recover from, the, from, from everywhere and bring us to, right. to the kingdom. So don't, don't, don't rest your mind. Oh, I'm from, I'm from, uh, I'm from Cameroon or I'm from, uh, I'm from uh, uh, Malabar or I, I'm from uh, the Seychelles Islands. What, what am I? Well, who, who the hell cares? If your ass was put in over there in slavery, you'd be all right. The only concern, the only concern you should have is whether or not you were brought over there or colonized in that land and you're good to go. Because the majority of the world is Israel anyway. 90%, right. 90% of people walking around, they think they're heathens. They are niggas. I'm going to tell you straight up. Right. Israel is everywhere. Everywhere. We are the sand of the sea. We are the majority. We were, we were once a remnant um, um, among the nations. Now we've grown. We've become huge. It's not, it's not a coincidence that they're passing this, that they're pushing this vaccine thing so hard. There's a lot of us. All right, what you got there? That's the river? Blow it up. I don't know. I mean, we, we, we can work off of this. Blow, blow it up. Uh, just move it over to your... Uh, Burkina Faso. Yeah, hey, over time. Burkina Faso. Wow. Benin right there. Yeah, there you go. All right, so look around. Uh, that's Nigeria. You see the two rivers? The main river right there is the, the Nigger River that goes that flows all the way down mm. into Nigeria. Right. And then around Lo, Lokaja, right there, you see the river that branches off right here? Go to the river that branches off from, go down, right there, that river right there, that's the Benue River. Mm. So we was all, when uh, like the book was saying, we all ran into this area. That's and Nigeria. Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And old... <laughs> Old Calabar, like it said, is is the port at the end. That's where they was getting a lot of us from. The slaves, right? The, the slaves ports, from. right there. Yep, and that's all right there. You see where it says uh, Benin. That's the kingdom of Judah, right by that, right by that river. Benin is the kingdom of Wider. Kingdom of Judah and Nigeria is the, is the Yorubas right under Nigeria, right under Yoruba. Okay. Right. Uh, yep. Uh, so the Nigger River that flows into Nigeria is it, actually splits Ebo on one side and uh, Yoruba on the Yoruba. other. You're about in the West, yes, yep. yes, sir. All right, that's it. So we got the York Lang, Anthropos. I want that. Now I know where to go. <laughs> uh, I want the abstract first. So we go, we'll go up to the top. I want to read the abstract in its, in its entirety. Yes, sir. Abstract. On the basis of comparative studies between the dynastic tradition of the Oyo Yoruba and ancient Near Eastern history, the present article argues that Yoruba traditions of provenance claiming immigration from the Near East. From the Near East. They're not Middle East, Near East. Go ahead. Are basically correct. Yes. So you see, this guy, Dirk Lang, is arguing that these guys, the, the Yoruba's origins stem from the Near East. Why? Because during the time of Assyria, and other uprising empires of the, of the ancient times, Israel fled towards North Africa, but they had to go to Egypt first. Northeast Africa, go ahead. According to Oyo Yoruba tradition, the ancestral Yoruba saw, saw the Assyrian conquest. There you go, they saw it, go ahead. 
of the Israelite kingdom mm -hmm. from the 9th and the 8th centuries B.C. Mm -hmm. from the perspective of the Israelites. Because they were the Israelites. Go ahead. After the fall of Samaria in 722 B.C. We read all of that. They were deported to eastern Syria mm -hmm. and adopted the ruling Assyrian kings as their own. Right. The collapse of the Assyrian Empire is, however, mainly seen through the eyes of the Babylonian conquerors of Nineveh in 612 B.C. Read that also. Carchemish, go ahead. This second shift of perspective reflects the disillusionment of the Israelite and the Babylonian deportees from Syria, Palestine. So it says the Israelite... Um, Babylonian, what did I say? Of the, the disillusionment of the Israelite and Babylonian deportees. Go ahead. From Syria, Palestine, towards the Assyrian oppressors, mm -hmm. after the defeat of the Egypto Assyrian forces. There you go. After the defeat of the Assyro Egypto Assyrian forces. At where? At Carchemish, mm -hmm. in Syria. What year? In 605 BC. King Josiah, Battle of, Battle of Megiddo. That's why I read that whole history because it ties into this right here. Go ahead. Um, numerous deportees followed the fleeing Egypto Assyrian troops to Numer the numerous deportees. That's us. Did what? Followed the fleeing Egypto Assyrian troops to the Nile Valley rivers. Go ahead. Before continuing their their migration to sub-Saharan Africa. So that shows you that Northern Kingdom, Northern Kingdom, fled into further Africa along with the Assyrians. With some of them. And why? Because we mingle with them. Remember, said amalgamated. That's why we, why did Americans look like that? Because they mingled themselves with these nations. <laughs> right. Excessively. <laughs> we don't read the bottom part. Nigeria, watch what it says. Nigeria, Assyrians in Africa. Nigeria, Assyrians in Africa. <laughs> we, we became the Assyrians or citizens of Assyria in Africa. Go ahead. Lost tribes of Israel. Lost tribes. So that's what you know, that the Assyrians in Africa are the lost tribes of Israel, not actual Assyrians. Go ahead. Migrations. Lost tribes of Israel. Migrations. Go ahead. State foundation. Conquest state. Dynastic traditions and oral traditions. Dynastic traditions and oral traditions. Go ahead. African what? African king list. African king. Remember, since we adopted the, 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 king, the Assyrian kings as our own. That's what Northern Kingdom did. Now, let's go to number three. We're going to go to visit, go to, um, type in, go to Amazon, type in Dirk Lang. They call us the lost tribes of Israel because we took, we lo like Deke was bringing out, we lost our identity. Yeah. Be so, just like, we became lost, just like today. And became, uh... Um, amalgamated with the other population, started taking on the um, their customs that of, of those that we associated with. Hell, and their features too. And their features. We mingle with, we are placed in Syria, messing with them. Assyrians mess around with them. Hey, Diggin, you did brought out that if you want uh, somebody to lose their history, take them away from their land, right? Right, the poor from their land. Right. That's what I said. I remember even earlier, said that the more they went away from their land, they moved away from their customs. Generation after generation, they began to forget their customs and their languages so forth. To an extent, and that's mingling that with the locals, huh? Uh, that's that prophecy, Jeremiah seventeen. That's, it's continued from their heritage, exactly. Yep. Um, you got Amazon. Just go to, just type in Amazon. Go to Amazon and then type in Dirk Lang. Book Dirk Lang book something like that. This brother, uh, I mean, I said this brother. Um, this what, eat up. This what's, eat the, what's that book called? I can't see that from here. No, nah, it should say um, something like, uh, this is an old classic one over, so I'm trying to think what it's called. It's in French right there, bro. Yeah, it's in another language. Uh, it's one of the book that's in German? Yeah. It's a Borno Expedition? <sighs> Try that one. Click that one. That's all I want, but that's fine. Borno Expedition is good. I'll, I'll take that. Right there, the one on the bottom. Right there. Yeah, click that. Yeah, tap one, tap one, bro. Yeah, that's fine. Um, that's go down to go down to its history. That's French. That's not what I want. It's this app. Is this something about Canaan, Canaanite, something like that? It's go called something Canaanite. Go back. I got, I got it. I'm gonna look it up. On top. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. I know you're talking. About. And it shows like it's like a brown book. Right there. That's in. That's English. Yeah. Ancient kingdoms of West Africa. That's the one I think I want.
And they do have a brown book called the Sudanic Chronicles. But, but. Nah, that's not the one. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. It's on Amazon. Brothers, look up. Um, just type in Dior Lane and go to books. Nah, go, go. I'm sorry. Go to Google. Dirk Lang and books. Go to Google, Dirk Lang, then go to books. And you should see it. it's the first one. Ancient Kingdoms of West yep, that's Africa. That's what I want. There you go. Click that one. D, you have the page? No, I want the page. I want the, info, I want the information regarding the book. Just go to information on the book. Oh, okay. Shows you its credentials. Go out. That's okay. We, we read that. Show, show that again. It's a book called. It's called Ancient Kingdoms of West Africa, African Centered. Dirk Lang, 586 pages. All right. Now go down to the history. Go on to the. Go on to its history of the book. I should have a history of the book. Go right, right there. Not, not that, no, not that. You went into the book. Just go back out and go down to about the work. Yeah, about, yeah, I want that. Regarding his, that book's in, the, in, different, in a different language. About the book is what I want to go to. Yeah, that, that's fine. Move it over. Yep. That should be it. Move it over. It's not really much there. That's about. It. That's it, though. What's that say? <sighs> it says just tell you the subject on uh, Africa, West Africa, history of West Africa. About him. Yeah. Click on Dior Lane. Click on him right here, the author. Click on that. The page. Click on the. I mean the picture. I'm sorry. Go to biography. D. You click that. That's fine. Biography. Let's try that. That's fine. Read that. Let's read that. That should be enough. I think I remember you bringing this. I'm page. dipping this out. Yeah, that's what I wanted. That's <clears> it. This should be it. Read that. Um, Africa and the ancient world. Born in 1941 of German parents who were uh, repatriated from East Africa at the beginning of the Second World War. Mm -hmm. I went to school in Ham in Hamburg, where I finished my secondary education in 1961. After one year of military service, I left the army as a constituent uh, objector, joined the service civil, joined the service civil international in Paris, and served unofficially in an international work camp in southern France as compensation for three remaining months of military training. In 1962, I began studying at the uh, Sorbonne, Sorbonne in Paris, where I became interested in various academic fields such as political science. Sociology, psychology, economics, African sociology, anthropology, mm -hmm. anthropology, study of races, general history, Islamic mm -hmm. studies, mm -hmm. and finally African history. African history, go ahead. Besides these studies in many directions, there was also time to join e uh, Easter peace, Easter peace marches in neighboring uh, countries such as in England, Switzerland, and Germany. A work camp in Poland gave me the opportunity to become acquainted with life behind the Iron uh, Curtain. Since I was with a group from France, I was in a slightly better position than if I had come from my home country. Uh, go down. Go down. This is to the point of what his education is. What he, what he does. He mentions... Uh, oh, right here. Uh, go back up. Let me see. Right there. Uncertain about my future career, I undertook an adventurous open and trip through the whole of the African continent mm -hmm. with uh, Mika Sanan and 11-year Citroën 2 CV. We set off in Paris in November of 1966, traveled through the Sahara to East and Southern Africa as far as uh, Botswana, back through the Congo at the time of civil war, and finally arrived at our starting point after more than one year's absence. Determined to continue traveling in the future in a more useful way, we both em embarked on academic careers related to Africa. Mm -hmm. 
in Paris. I pursued my studies financing them by a part-time job and did not refrain from joining the um, Eventaments and uh, Saxine Hoot. How you? <laughs> wow. Whatever. It's a, uh, hey. a, 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 a events of uh, 60, 68. Brothers, blow this up. Blow it up some more. Yeah, we're trying to find a point where he mentions about Israel or about well, his uh, tradition, uh, tra the traditions. All right. Down, so I'm just trying to get to the point. All right, go down, go down. Have to read. Go down. If you don't see it, we'll just read it for yourselves because I'm not going to go through all this. That's too much to read. Two minutes. That's too much to read. Anything? Oh, right here. Hold on. The near yeah, East. right here. Yeah, right there. I want this. There you go. Let's get that. Um, all right, go back out a little bit. Right there. As the culminating point of my long training as a scholar, this success in Paris came just in time for the new position in African history at the Young University at Beirut. After being appointed professor of African history in 1988, I subsequently became a member of the African Research Group of Beirut University, mm -hmm. SFB. From now on, field research, mainly in Nigeria, but marginally also in, in uh, Nigger, was no longer a painstaking personal enterprise, but an institutionally sponsored normal undertaking. Also, a wonderful library was at hand. My own books were, all, were always around on bookshelves, which soon became too small. And curious stu study students, eager to know more, asked uh, stimulating questions. From this secure material basis, the focus of my teaching and research slowly began to widen. From medieval West Africa to a transcontinental perspective involving the ideal of important connections with the ancient Near East. Mm -hmm. First conceived as remnants of Phoenician trade, relations with West Africa, anthropological survivals, the testimonies of oral traditions and the, the, the onomastic pointers in the early sections of local chronicles and king mm -hmm. lists, when properly analyzed, finally began to provide evidence of more important influences on African history from the major civilizations of the ancient Near East than ever imagined before. Mm -hmm. First presented in my book, Ancient Kingdoms of West Africa, 2004, the theory in favor of a global historical approach to ancient Africa certainly needs to be more deeply explored and more comprehensively explained in future. He's called the whistleblower. He, um, the, um, historians before him knew that Israel's in Africa, but they kept it quiet. This guy is exposing it from his own travels, field work. Go ahead. Go up. Go up, go up, go up. Go up. All right, that's it. That's it. So that's him and her. I'm right there. I guess it's a colleague of his, his sister. So this, this guy did much field work for many years. And that's him young. That's him old. All right? And he wrote that book in different languages. I think he wrote it in German or something like that or Dutch or whatever. German. Yes, in German. So we have brothers in the congregation that speak that language. Or maybe we might buy that book and have them translated for us. Because we have, you know, our congregation has, all praise to the Lord, we had brothers who are capable of doing so. So you might just do that because I can't read no freaking German. All right, so we're going to take a break real quick. Hope you guys are, in, are taking this in thus far. We're going to get more into this Dirk Lang guy, all right? So right, stay tuned. Sir. History, history, history. Yeah. Song is over. Christ bless. We're going to here by UIC Philadelphia. Tuned in to our Hidden History Radio. We'll be going to deep understanding and history of who we are, going to the Bible, hidden artifacts, archaeology, the geography. Or you can think of that shrouds around our history of the Bible and go into it in depth. So Israel, like, subscribe, comment on our YouTube channel, our Hidden History Radio. See you then. It's a long more science this. Do you know what the
Huh. Oh, so many mistakes I done made in my life. And these chains on my brain got me going insane. I got left cause I didn't know right. Don't do it for fortune and fame. For the law, we enduring the pain. And I pray to the Father, He's showing us mercy. But you play with life like a game. But I blame myself for my downfalls. And I just been praying that you see the light whenever I'm around you. I hope that it's bright and shines in the night. I hope that you find yours. Focus and don't let your crown fall. Put my trust in the Lord throughout all. Lord's willing, I'm found without flaw. Scriptures and seek out the kingdom, the spiritual wealth. And nobody knows me the way that I know me. I'm working on self. That's sin and it's bad for my health. Thank the Lord that I'm part of the 12. Take a look at how far we have fell. I like how we abandoned. Everything the Father done can't understand it. How far we found it. The way we landed. I'm praying that they let me go. I'm out here stranded. Like, oh. Crazy things we do Meditate on things that change my mood Take it day by day, he's coming soon I could die today. Not on my mind, gotta meditate. But I'll be fine if I find a way. Cause I've been trying to get better, switch up my options. Trying to get far away from where I've been. And jump to the end, I ain't stopping. Out here, it's too cold. I'm stranded on my alone. I don't know where. Anywhere else I could go. Yeah. Cause I like that we abandoned everything. Crazy things we do. Meditate on things that change my mood. Take it day by day, he's coming soon. Lord, forgive me for the for the things that I do. Stop feeling stranded without without no vision of you. Where would I be without you? Don't find no ease without you. I've been deceived without you. It's all on me to find you. Got here with them now I gotta face the same. Come through on a regular basis. Different color, all them different than faces. Everything trying to take away my greatness. Oh Lord. Shalom, my Israelite family, and most high in Christ bless you all. I'm your host, King Heads. I want to welcome you all to Juke Train. We got one of the baddest bands out here in the world of Israel. They will have your feet off the ground and get down. Your organized sound, Nivzay Mar. 
And here they come with you, fuck.
nation is real, put in leg work. Precept upon precept, okay. my head hurt. Big body, sumo flow. If you bout your ground, kudos dope. Baby, rep yo. Town is the uno dose. The uno dose, that is the uno dose. One, two, one, two. Big body, sumo flow. If you bout your ground, kudos dope. Baby, rep yo. Town is the uno dose. The uno dose, that is the uno dose. One, two, one, two. Uh, they been eyeing us, was I right or what? Never get high enough to try your luck. Uh, I threw a viral with a spiral. Now it's all over the web with a spider touch. Damn, we had power before we had weapons. The world was ours before we had seconds. Just a heart that hate tough and we stay under. On the way, we on your ass like plate numbers, keeping the commandments. Laws of a black Jew, you don't understand it, cause ain't nobody ask you. DMV, I'm Jai like Michael Jai White. Woo! Black dynamite, all kind of strife. Uh, sun rising, not surprising. Bearded, fierce, black Pierce Brosnan, cause we was bondsmen. Put my scripts like my face tape to it. Wait, I can't stop dripping great brake fluid. Uh, living God, great and terrible. Face unbearable, listen to this parable. The Apple Watch ain't new, the tech been wearable. Weapons not carnal, I got better in the arsenal. 12. He's a black man, no black. You better prove it, okay? She's a piece of crap. You know what? You know what? You know what? And believe it or not, that's the voice of God. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't gonna check. Ah, you are seeing me, Jacks. Back, we're back, we're back on break, back on the break, back on the break. All right, yeah, some dumbass on the comment board, get, get, get blocked. Who we'll blocked your stupid ass? I think I'm deep. You on my show, that's what I think I'm deep. Why are you on my show for? I think I'm, I think I'm not deep. The hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> he decided to show up, right? Start to show up and make comments about who think they're deep. I don't think I'm deep. I, I say I know enough, I don't think I'm deep. Where we at? Uh, I'm not nice. I'm coming here talking stupid. I'm not a kind person. I'm gonna tell you straight. I'm not. Sit right there. I will thoroughly embarrass you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you right now, man. 
It's not looking good for you, man. You come on here. <laughs> Bring it out. I'm looking good for you right now. Where we at? We got, um... Lisa. Where we at? Uh, Diak Lang. What did I want to get in there? We stopped at where? Yeah, I threw me we off. stopped now. at the... Uh, stole my equilibrium off. Well, where we at? <laughs> Stop at the uh, Dior Lane, the abstract. Dior Lane's abstract, yes. We finished the abstract. Let's go down to the introduction. Let's go down to the introduction. Now, what time is it now? It is 2. 2.49. So you might end up stopping at the introduction because y'all can pose your questions. Uh, I'm sorry, I got the vegan itis. Y'all can post your questions, post your questions, um, or text them at uh, 267. 702-6121. That's 267-702-6121. To uh, post your questions, um, text your questions, or call. I prefer, I prefer you text your questions rather than call in. So please text your questions. Or com you know, I prefer questions rather than comments. All right? If they're stupid, I'm going to ignore them and, and delete them. All right. Make sure they're related to, to the, the topic, show. Yes. You, you got the, the topic. The, you got the flush. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, man. Let's practice it. This is what's going to happen to your... Please don't ask me if the clouds are angel hair. I do not know. And then you're going to hear that sound right there. You question. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to flush down the toilet. Introduction. Read that. Introduction. According to the present opinion, the Yoruba are of local origin. But this opinion reflects the great influence of post-colonialism. Right. So it says, that according to present opinion, the Yoruba are of local origin. Of local origin means that they are Hamites. They're Africans that belong, that they've always been there. But this opinion reflects the great influence of post colonialism on the African historiography rather than sober text critical research, meaning that, that them being Africans is based upon white folks that conquered, that conquered and colonized the land and declared them Hamites. But he's saying, based upon further research, and his further research, he's done his field work. They are not. They're from somewhere else. Go ahead. On African his historiography, rather than sober text critical research. That's what he does. Sober text critical research. Go ahead. It involves... It involves the fallacious dismissal of the major traditions of provenance, suggesting an origin of the ancestral Yoruba in the Near East. So his research um, removes the, fall the fallacious or lies of post-colonialism Dismissal of the major traditions of them, their provenance, suggesting an origin of the ancestral Yoruba from the or in the Near East. I mean, they come from the children of Israel. That's what he's saying. Go ahead. In fact, before the rise of the go up to the top. Before of, the rise of, of, the, ac of the academic, uh huh, academic African historiography in connection with the independence of African states around 1960. Scholars relied more directly on the available traditions of Yoruba origin, and they did some comparative research between Yoruba, ancient Mediterranean, and Israelite cultures. There you go. Go ahead. On the basis of this evidence, they suggested that the Yoruba Im immigrated from far away, mm -hmm. either from Phoenicia, the Mediterranean world, Egypt, or Nubia. Mediterranean world is Canaan, Samaria, same place. Mediterranean world, the borders, the borders on Israel, Mediterranean Sea. Go ahead. If any of these suppositions could be shown to be true and present opinion to be ideologically biased, it would mean that a culture of the ancient world survived in sub-Saharan Africa. Where Israel fled to. We read that earlier. Where Israel fled there. Go ahead. The ten tribes fled there. Go ahead. Which, in the area of origin, was superseded by subsequent sweeping developments such as Hellenization. Such as the Greek time period. Christianization. The Roman time period. And Islamization. The Islamic. Time period. So they, they basically their traditions and culture was altered based upon the Greek captivity, Roman or Holy Roman Empire, and the Islamic Empire. They all, they all remember Northern Kingdom had a habit of, of constant assimilation with conquerors excessively. Okay? Now, hold on. Let's, let's go down to um, go to academic. And we're gonna end at Christians. We were there already. Go back. We were there. Go down, go down, go down. We, go back, go back. We were there. Academic, right there. Academic historians. Academic historians of the post-colonial period take a hypocritical, a hypercritical 
position by pointing out several factors thought to invalidate the basic message of the traditions, which formerly had been considered to be a minor significance. So in other words, present-day scholars ignore the traditions and customs of the Aruba to push their, what, Hamite hypothesis, that they're Hamites, go ahead. They emphasized that migration of the Yoruba was unlikely as long as people further north were not immigrants. Mm -hmm. They estimate that traditions of migration from the Near East were the result of an Islamic feedback. Supposition, I mean, supposing that local keepers of traditions manipulated the historical data for the sake of inventing a prestigious history. You're saying that they made the history up, that they made the history up or they got it from the Muslims, is what he's saying. Go ahead. Equivalent to that of Muslims and Christians. Right. So they, they borrowed their, so basically when the Muslims and Christians came in, the Yorubas borrowed their culture or history from these, from these particular um, cultures, not their own. Go ahead. More particularly, they accuse so scholars. Is that Christians? It stops the Christians? Yes, sir. That's stop it, right. there. Stop there. Go to um, five, page, five, page 582. Page 582. We're going to read 1.2. 582 should be at the top right or the top right hand side of the page. We're going to go, go up. We're going to read 1.2 right there. Yoruba and traditions of migration from the Near East. And we're going to start at. Tradition, Yoruba, Yoruba, tradition, Yoruba traditions, Yoruba traditions, um, and then, uh, no, the, the Yoruba, and we're going to end that in the north. Yoruba traditions of migration from the Near East. Right, go ahead. The Yoruba live in a tropical region too far south of the Sahara to have come to the note of medieval Arab geographers. Mm -hmm. Although now considered as a single tribe or people, Times the Yoruba did not form a political unit, but comprised many separate states in what is now southwestern Nigeria. So they weren't all considered Yoruba; they were all divided into different states or different different groups within that land of Nigeria. Yoruba, go ahead. Um, Yoruba was an alternative name for the largest and most powerful of these states, Oyo in the north, the Oyo Empire in the north. Go ahead. The name was extended in the second half of the 19th century to the entire linguistic and cultural group, claiming a common origin from uh, I I I uh, if Ife. I think it's Ife. Ife. Uh -huh. The site of a remarkable myth of creation. Mm -hmm. uh, therefore, the few remarks on the Yoruba occurring in writing of African scholars of the Sudanic belt from the 17th to the 19th century refer solely to the kingdom of Oyo and not to all Yoruba-speaking people. Mm -hmm. The first and only Sudanic author to provide precise... Yeah, in the north. Is that in the north? What is in the, in the north? Did we stop there already? Go, go down? Yeah, we did. We did. Yeah. Yes, in, in the north. Sorry, D. Uh, right, 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 right. <laughs> there's more stuff in there. That's fine. We can pull it. So, hold on. In the north. Hold on. Uh, go to page 591. 1. 1.4. I'm just sitting key points. So the, the Aruba, that, that name for all of them came later on. They were all divided into different states, but it was eventually became basically based upon the oil empire, the Aruba. Those of y'all who are from this area know what this is talking about. Those of y'all who are from here may be unfamiliar. The Aruba 1.4 right there. The Yoruba as the lost tribes of Israel. Contrary, you're going to start a contrary and the descendants. Contrary to other African people, such as also the neighboring Igbo in southwestern Nigeria, the Yoruba never claimed the Israelite identity. Why? Because they what? Why? Because they were already intermingled and lost identity already. They lost it. Go ahead. Although several authors pointed out the existence of Israelite customs among, among the Yoruba. Even though there's customs of Israelites among them. Go ahead. They saw them as side effects of Israelite influences and not as the result of. So present scholars said these guys aren't Israelites. They, they, they just happened to learn. They came across them and learned from them. Go ahead. The result of a direct cultural transfer through migration from the northern kingdom of Israel. Go ahead. More recently, reexamination of the Oyo dynastic tradition. The Oyo, Oyo dynastic, the Oyo dynasty is, what the, is, is, the, Yoru, is the Yoruba. Now all of them, uh, uh, the, the term Yoruba originally, originally referred to the Oyo dynastic kingdom. With, even though they were all divided. But now all of them are called Yoruba, all of them. Go ahead. 
More recently, re-examination of the Oyo dynastic tradition in combination with the comparison of cultural traits led to the conclusion that direct links must have existed between the northern Israelites and the, Yor the Yoruba. Direct links, because they're the same. Watch this. However, owing to the incomplete study of Oyo tradition, this conclusion did not indicate the precise nature of the historical connection between ancient Israel and the Oyo Yoruba. Incomplete studies left these left that link undealt, um, not dealt with. I mean, incomplete by, by post-colonial scholars who hate our people and keep our history um, away from us. Go ahead. Avoiding the unmentionable notion See of... See that? Avoiding, they avoid, deliberately avoiding the unmentionable what? Notion of mass migration from the ancient Near East. It suggested instead that the remnants of Israelite traditions and cultural traits were the result of sporadic influences from Syria, Palestine, Syria, Palestine via Egypt or of long-lasting trade relations between Phoenician, North Africa, and Sub-Saharan, West Africa. That's the lie they're pushing. They say, oh, the influences came from these different areas, and that's how the Yorubas learned that they might be Israel, too. Watch this. The notion of the Ten Lost Tribes of Israel, on the other hand, is a convenient designation for the northern Israelites deported by Tiglath Pileser III mm -hmm. and Sargon II in the second half of the 8th century B.C. and their descendants. There you go. Go ahead. According to different authors, either the majority of the inhabitants of the northern kingdom or just the upper social stratum was deported by the Assyrians. The Assyrian authorities re resettled the deportees in the region of Haber Gazan in northern Assyria and in the cities of the Medes in Persia. Most often, the exiled Israelites are supposed to have been assimilated in their new settlements. Most have been what? Supposed to have been what? Most often, the, ex the exiled Israelites are supposed to have been assimilated in their new settlements. Meaning what? They merged, they merged into the local populace of the Assyrians. They became Assyrians, basically. They're supposed to, because that was the custom of the Assyrians. Make everybody one people. Like America, same thing. Same thing Babylon did. Go ahead. By the indigenous populations, so that the idea of the lost tribes of Israel surviving in some other location is thought to correspond to a myth. Without historical foundation. Uh huh. D, I know you wanted me to stop at descendants. No, I keep going. Oh, okay. Ha no, however, not, I have it, I have it here. However, here, have it here. Keep oh, yes, going. sir. However, the general deportation praxis of the Syrian authorities consisted in the resettlement of homogeneous communities in order to sustain high morale and the will to live and to work. Stop. So it says, however, the general de deportation practice of the Assyrian authorities consisted in the resettlement of homogenous communities, meaning that the Israelites stayed to themselves. When the Assyrians placed northern kingdom in certain areas, Ephraim still remained, or northern kingdom remained among each other. The men and women still maintained their identity living amongst each other. Even if they were displaced in foreign lands, they still, displaced, still put Israel together in different lands. So you were still together. That's what he's saying. Homogenous means one race staying to itself, homogenous. Go ahead. Um, Liverani also, uh, traces of, no, also traces of Israelite deportees having maintained their identity. See? Also traces of Israelite deportees having maintained their identity. Go ahead. Can be found in Assyrian documents from 7th century. Gozan, uh, Guzan, Guzani, Guzana. Gozan is a, is a river, the Medes, so they place that the Gozan, Habor, Hala, that's the same place. Israel maintained their identities in the cities of the Medes, like Tobit, like Jonah. You understand? Go ahead. Showing that some of these people were incorporated into the Assyrian army. See? And when, and when the Assyrians lost to the Babylonians and Medes, they were displaced. They were conquered. Go ahead. While, uh, while others were employed in the administration. Like Tobit, like his nephew, Achaicharis. He was, he was in administration. He was uh, the accountant, the holder of the signet. We read this, we read this all throughout the scriptures. Go ahead, they had status. Go ahead. Since, moreover, Israelites are well known for their strong feelings of identity based on firm religious bonds, it is unlikely that during their rel rel relatively short Assyrian exile... Extend it. Go up. Extending, extending over slightly more than 100 years, they were absorbed by Assyrian or Aramanians... Assyrians. Assyrians or Aramanians... Aramanians. Aramaeans in a region such as Habor, Habor or Gazan. Gazan, 
where they seem to have settled in homogenous groups. groups. Meaning it is impossible within that short frame of time for Northern Kingdom to have been completely or totally lost or mixed into everybody else. Because they were placed in they, they were placed in these foreign lands with each other. Men and women placed in these foreign lands with each other. So it's impossible to say that the Northern Kingdom just blended with everybody and they're gone, they're lost. That's what the so-called Israeli siege. Oh, the ten tribes are lost. They're lost. They're, lost. they're, lost. they're gone. You don't know where they're at. Judah, Benjamin, Levi. We're, we are in Israel. But no, the kingdom is gone. <laughs> right. A lot of that garbage, man. Talking about the tribe of Levi. Yeah, a lot of Levi, <laughs> Benjamin, and, and Judah. But uh, Ethiopian Jews is Dan. <laughs> Whatever, man. So that's, that's, the, that's the lie that's being pushed in the world now. So now, if you want a little pass, that's fine. Hey, Go Deacon. To, yeah. They got a question if you want to. Yes. What's the comment? What, what, what time is it? 304. Oh, we good. Go ahead. Okay. Question is, Shalom Deacon and officers. This is a this is Brother Tobiah from Detroit camp. Okay. I'm glad you're going over this history because I'm a Yoruba. Okay. My question is, when we migrated further into western Nigeria from North Africa after Assyrian conquest, did we meet people in western Nigeria, Yoruba land? I get asked these questions by unbelieving Yorubas. Do we meet who? It said that we meet people. What people do we meet? As any yeah, you got to clarify. You got to clarify what people he's referring to. We met. If we, if we met each other, yes, because Judah. Remember, Judah fled over there as well during the Babylonian te- captivity. We fled in, in there, fled over there during the Islam. Remember, we were earlier the Hellenization, the Christianization, and the Islamization. When the Islamization came about, that was the largest exile. We fled all to the west, so we ran to each other in these areas that established the Ebo Empire. And you had the, and then you had the um, Ebos, this majority uh, Southern Kingdom, and then you had another group. Uh, Yoruba will be the Northern Kingdom with remnants of Judah. Ebo will be majority Judah and remnants of Ephraim. That's how it was divided in those two. What he said? Okay, he just clarified. It says, "Did we meet Canaanites there?" Yeah, I knew, Hell yeah. I, I knew that's what he meant. Hell yeah, yeah we met Canaanites yeah, there. Yeah, we yeah. overthrew their ass, overthrew them, <clears throat> and then when the, when the, when the um, Muslims came in. Um, the Canaanites pretty much helped them overthrow us. That's Dehomi in them. That's Dehomi. The Dehomians, those were the, the indigenous or local inhabitants of that land. We took it over. We, we conquered them. Took it over. And then when the Inquisition took place mm. and the Turks came along and converted the Hamites that were there into Islam, they had a field day with us and sold us and ate us and all kind of weirdness going on. Right. You actually brought up before that they actually had some anim- animosity against us because we took their land. Yeah, we took right. their land. Right. We took that side- go back centuries, man. Yeah, we took sidearm from them. <laughs> we took Carthage from them. We took right. the promised land from them, which is ours anyway. So they had a bitter <laughs> hatred. We hate these dudes. That's what Joel 3 is talking about. Yeah, Joel right. 3. Yep. Ty- Tyron side on. That's right. yeah, I was going into it. You're going to pay me a recompense because... Mm-hmm. Right, right, but some of us were stupid enough to sit there and mingle with them and learn their works and bring it over here. Right, just like uh, cause over there we was worshiping uh, uh Houdan and Houdan, uh, a serpent. Yeah, right. A snake serpent or whatever. And um yeah, we worshiping them different. Anansi, gods. all that nonsense, Anansi, all that nonsense, spider god, yeah. all that stupidness, that's all from him. Especially especially um Levi. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Oh, okay, shots is fired. That's right. So, damn, where we at? Where we at? See, I ain't saying nothing, right? I see that. Yeah, I'll right, do a yeah, humble. You're taking, taking, taking a high road. You're taking a high road. All right, all right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He said, I remember when Dickie was talking about uh, Moses, the uh, mighty warrior, was fighting in the wars. He, he didn't say nothing. Right. But that's okay. Damn, I didn't say anything. Yeah, I'm he didn't sorry. Say, it's all right. It's okay. All right, all right. Uh, I'm going to be humble, bro. Damn. Hey, the Lord saw that officer. Yep, I'm gonna say it. Wow. <laughs> the Lord's Lord going to fight my battle for me. The Lord going to fight the battle. <laughs> But uh, you, but yeah, so, you know what you're no, that answers uh the book that we just brought out on uh, West African uh, countries and people. They um we showed how when we migrated down there, we met up with the uh, Hamites local down there, inhabitants, right, local inhabitants. Local inhabitants. They said that we, lo- um, we ran into local inhabitants there and mingled with them and learned their and learned and their, their words. That's why right. a lot of people say, "Oh no, our, our, our customers go back to OBI, all that stupid nonsense." But he mentions the guy we worshipped over there. It's called these Oshinka. It's page 162, I think, where he mentions in that book, he mentions that I, the God you call upon was an all-knowing and omnipotent. I forgot what y'all call him. And that, that God goes back to the God of Judaism. The God of, goes back to... Uh, basically, we gave... Oh, you're talking about in, the, um, in this book? Yeah, page 162. We gave the Hamite... We basically did what, what Solomon said. We inscribed upon other gods our, our God and, and then 
we basically gave the, the, the heathens' gods our gods' attributes. Right. Yeah. So we basically took a Hamite god and said, this is, this is the Lord, and he's omnipotent and all-knowing and only one power, only one god. So we, we gave him the Hamite name. Yeah. We simple and stupid as hell. You know, if he can, the hell is Israel. this? I think it's page 162, I think. I read it today. Oh. I just skimmed it. We just got another question, too, Deacon. Yeah, what's the, what's the question? It says, Shalom leadership, most high Christ bless. Yep. A while ago, I learned that the that Bantu tribes came from modern-day Nigeria and Cameroon. Apparently, they fled because of tribal wars and the Arab slave trade. Would they be Israelites? You have Hamite Bantus and you have Semite Bantus. You had uh, Semite Bantus. You have Bantus, a language. You got to be careful with it. You had Semitic Bantus and Hamitic Bantus. A lot of Bantus fled into um into Mozambique too. Uh, you had the, uh, you had the uh, the Khoisan people. The Khoisan were the indigenous inhabitants of, of South Africa, and the Bantus man up in there and mingled with them and became the majority as always. And that's where you get the Hottentots from. You had Sarah Bartmans from them, and they were sold off in Mozambique into areas of the Far East. Then you had the Bantus that were also sold from Nigeria as well. You had Semitic Bantus, and you have Hamitic Bantus. You had the, you had, you had the Yorubas, and then you had the Dahomies. Dahomey, we, Dahomey's our, um, oh, we took that land over and named it Dahomey, but you, we call them Dahomey's because that region is where the Hamites, or Canaanites resided. So we, 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 I refer to them as Dahomeans, but the land Dahomey was named, named, by, named by us, but the inhabitants of that land was not us. That, that was Canaanites. And they despised us then and despise us now, mm. wherever the hell they are. Hey, D, I got it. Um, uh, Psalms 106 and 34. Yes, get that, yeah. I think that guy is um, that, that artist. What guy's name? With his wife, they sing all the time. Um, Toby. Toby. Nigwu, I can't pronounce his last name, but he's yeah. Uber also. We, we, was a, we was in a clubhouse, and someone that's close friends with him was like, how do I explain to him that, you know, and I, so this, this, this class kind of ties into that, about the Arubas. We got more information on Arubas. I'm going to go into it. I'll bring the book tomorrow about their traditions and customs as well that Dirk Lang got his information from. Mm. We got a lot more stuff on Yorubas, a lot more. We just yeah, have Shout out to uh, Officer, Officer Gabe in headquarters. He's also Yoruba. Yeah, yeah your wife too. And my wife also. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, 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 yeah. Silly as hell, man. Damn, nobody <laughs> <thing else. laughs> silly, silly as deep, <laughs> y'all, man. Not all of y'all, but majority of y'all are Northern yeah, Kingdom. Yeah, they, yeah. Um, Vast majority of Northern Kingdom over there. And Judah's over there. But that's qu next question, um, Abed, I'm sorry. Um, I, went, I went on an angry rant. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. We got the pages up too deep. All right. Up, it you? just said the the God that y'all were talking about says the God is Allah Umar. Allah Umar. Let, let me see if it's on here. You go to that page one. You, you, you sent them already? Yes. I think it's 162 or 3. 164. Yeah. 16, yeah. Let's see what it says. It's going to say it. Y'all might be familiar. I, I, I know what he's talking about. I know what he's talking about, though. And uh, Dior Lane do mention... Uh, he, uh, I remember you brought that out too about Odu, Odu, Odu Lamar. That goes all the way back to uh, Jacob, right? Jacob and Isaac. Our, our forefathers' names, right? right. They, gave, they gave them Assyrian names. Did you still want uh, Psalms 106? Or you want to yeah, read? read that. Psalms 106 and, uh, yeah, and 34. That. Okay. Psalms chapter 106, verse 34. <laughs> they did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord commanded them. Canaanites. Go ahead. But were mingled among the heathen yep. and learned mm -hmm. their works. works. There you go. Yeah, verse 36. And they served their idols, yep. which were a snare unto them. There you go. That's it right there. We're going to be there right now. What y'all pulling up? Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, blow it up some. So we can see. Yep. Let's see. Let's see. I'm not familiar with where it is. I just Go down skim, at the bottom. Skim, it's in the bottom bottom. Yep. It says omnipotent. Right there. Like that. That's it. Read that. Yeah. The religion of the Ebos. The religion of the Ebos is... Now, in this book, he explains that the word Ebos comes from the word Hebrews. Is Ebos is what? The religion of the Ebos is Judaism. Is Judaism. Watch this. Intermixed with numerous pagan rites and ceremonies. Because the Yorubas are Ebos as well. A different branch. Go ahead. They believe so in... So the, the Edo people... One guy said... One guy, Africa said, oh, the Edo people are Edomites. You, you can... That's a... Oh, wow. 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 The Edo people... <laughs> Edo people... That's all the same different... It's the, it's the same tree, different branches. That's all it is. Go ahead. 
They believe in the existence of one almighty, uh-huh. omnipotent, omnipresent being. Whom? What's going on? You got a picture of me on the side. Come on. Omnipresent being whom they worship as such and regard as the omnis, omni, omnis, Omnis-i- omniscient. omniscient God who concerns himself with the affairs of man. Go ahead. He is known by the name of Teshuku. Yeah, Teshuku. That's the name. Shuku. Shuku is the name. That's in the T silent, I believe. Okay. It's Shuku. Go ahead. Contracted, contracted sometimes into she. Uh-huh. They also admit the existence of another God or a superior being who in one part of the country is called Orisa and in another uh, Shuku Okiki or God the creator uh-huh. or the supreme God. That's the father is referring to. Go ahead. Does, uh, one God Shuku I believe is the son and I think this other God is the father. Go ahead. Um. Right, it's going to explain. Thus showing that the nation believes in the division of the Godhead. There you go. Go ahead. In two beings, each equal in power and influence, yet deferring in the Godhead. But the existence of a third person does not uh, seem to be admitted or known by them. You mean the Holy Spirit. That's nonsense. <laughs> the, third, tr- the, the Trinity, trinity. Crap. They don't know about the damn Trinity because they, they don't believe it. That's not in the Bible. Go ahead. Shuku, the omniscient God. Who is supposed to preserve them from harm? So Shuku will be the son, and the, the, the Shuku and the Shuku of Okele Oki, Okiki will be the father. Go ahead. Communicates with his people through his priests, who reside. So he, he does what? Communicates with what? He communicates through his. Come on. He communicates with his people through his priests. Uh huh. Who reside? Go to the next page. Who reside in a city set apart as holy by all the nations. That's the temple. Damn. Or Levites. That's the su- Levite suburbs. Go ahead. This place is called Ar- Aro or Ano, to which pilgrimages are made, not only from all parts of Ebo, including the tribes along the coast, Aru, Nimbi, and Brass, but also from Old Calabar, Calabar. in the mm-hmm. far uh, east. Uh huh. I saw. I saw, uh, yeah, I saw one. That's it. So. Those of you who are familiar with those names, now you know who they're, who they're alluding to. Shuku and so forth. And uh, who else is there? Shuku, Aki, Aki, I'm not going to mispronounce those words. I don't want to be disrespectful. But it's, it's you know, you get, you get the point. Shuku. You okay. got another, uh, what are you saying? Yeah. Like, what do you say? It's the same, brother. It says, Shalom is Brother Tobiah again. Uh-huh. I just want to contribute that what led to Yorubas being sold in the slave trade was a civil war among the Yoruba states. Just like the Book of Kings. Right. We fight them. That's why I said earlier in the Derek Lang, he said that rather than be all called Yoruba, they were different states. Mm. That the Yoruba was actually in reference to the Oyo Empire itself, but eventually Esau came and said, Ah, you're all Yorubas. Ah, that nonsense. But they were all fighting amongst each other. Mm. And understand, likewise, on this side of the world, Native Americans had wars among themselves. The white man saw that division. Likewise, the Moors. He saw the division, um, exploited it, and basically had one turn against the other and would sell them. Because there's no wealthy people walking around saying, yeah, um, uh, my, uh, my ancestors sold that warring tribe into slavery, and I got old money. They all got sold. Right. One, con- one, help- one either my white man helped them conquer this one, then conquered them themselves and sold them too. There were no winners in the end of that. That's why you had Jake saying over now, we apologize for selling you. We're sorry because those, those are the ones that got colonized over there. So even if they did sell us, they ended up getting colonized anyway. And losing their resources in any way. Mm-hmm. It's still in poverty. So it doesn't help. And uh, I think um, Ghana or Nigeria apologized some nonsense like that. They apologized. Yeah, like they that. did. I remember. Yeah. So yep. we're sorry. Ghana. You know, we're wrong. But it, there was. Come back was, home. Yeah, because they come back. <laughs> it was just niggas fighting each other. It was niggas. Um, also, uh, I have a book being, here. I'm sorry. Being Negro ish. I'll be Negro. Ne- N word ish. You're being. Go ahead. Also, we have a book here uh, that says the, uh, uh, the Yoruba in the slave trade. Was taken the Spanish. They was the Spanish was the ones that came and got the Europe on the slave trade. Mm-hmm. Let you know that was Northern and brought Kingdom. Brought them to Puerto Rico and Cuba <laughs> right. and so forth. They bought most of them. They knew who they were taking. I bought these out years ago. They knew they, were, they didn't say, "Oh, let's just grab random Negroes and take them." They knew who they were taking because the Hamites said, "Listen, Judas over there, Ephraim's over there, Issachar's over there." Because the Hamites is watching us. They were there. Those are their eyes and ears. Y'all thinking it's a coincidence that they was put Israel in certain, certain, certain places? Now, you may, have, you, you may have had some instances where there were stragglers where Judah may have been put in Jamaica in some instances, or Levi may have been put in Brazil in some instances. That's the case. That's some instances. But the majority, Esau knew where to place us. He had to know. 
No denying this. So something else? You have another. Let's yes, go. Sir. Says Shalom leadership. There is a God. So I'm saying to you. Right. It's right. just not just gonna grab random slaves and throw them anywhere. Go ahead. Shalom leadership. Most High Christ bless. Is it true that our foreparents in northern and west African countries refer to the Atlantic Ocean as the Great Lake, lending to the understanding that there are land masses on the other side? I don't know. I never heard that before. But mm. I, I know I didn't know. I went over um, in a series that we did have maps and um. Um, writings to show that we got over here. Remember, Columbus had our help to get over here. Right. So we yeah. had knowledge of this side of the world, so that would not surprise me. I never heard that before, but I know we had knowledge of this side of the world. We had to since Moses. Hmm. Hell, since Adam. Really? Because everything was one place. Bring it what out, call it? Pangea, they call it. All the land was together, and the flood came, and everything divided up. That's why I look at the map. Everything looks like it's a puzzle. Come together. Jerusalem is the center of that. Where we at? Uh, back to the back to um the introduction. Oh, not the introduction, but crazy. Yeah, we're in page in the north. We stopped in the north, right? We passed in the north. Yeah, we went way past. Yeah, that was good. So let's go to um mm, page ninety two. Page five nine two. No, we read past that. We read go to go to um from a compar from a comparative end that past events. Yep. From a comparative end of past events, and we'll stop here. From a comparative analysis of Oyo dynastic traditions and ancient Near Eastern history, it appears that Israelites migrated to West Africa subsequently to the fall of the Assyrian Empire. Boom. Go ahead. And that their descendants survive as the core people of the present day Oyo Yoruba. There you go. So, so this guy is saying, contrary to, contrary to popular belief, these are not Africans that just learned from Arabs and learned from Israelites that were passing through. These guys are Israelites. Period. Go ahead. Oyo tradition reveals that the ancestral Yoruba were mainly composed of Israelites. Right. Mainly composed. You have remnants of who? Assyrians. And who? Hamites that lived there. But the majority, all of them, is damn near Israelites. Go ahead. Who, in the course of their history, became influenced by Assyrian views of past events. Because they left there and brought the Assyrian nonsense with them. Same on this side of the world. They brought the Assyrian nonsense with them, like Psalms 106 says. Mingle with them and learn their works, which became a snare unto them. Go ahead. Providing precious details about the ancient Near Eastern history of their ancestors. Uh -huh. It begins with some information on the Amr Amrai dynasty. Amrai dynasty is who? Amri. Who's Amri? The father of Ahab. Jezebel's weak-ass husband. Go ahead. Which ruled over Israel in the second half of the 10th and the first half of the 9th century. Mm -hmm. It continues by in emphasizing the importance of the first Assyrian intervention in Israelite history, which took place in 841 B.C. At the same time, it underlines the subservient role of Amnesanda Jehu. Ah, so that's the name it gave him. Amnesanda um, Jehu. Go ahead with respect to? With respect to the Assyrian conquerors. So they gave Jehu an Assyrian conqueror's name. Go ahead. Subsequently, it depicts favorably some of the Israelite kings and alluding to the Assyrian conquest of Samaria in 722 B.C. The traditions. Go ahead. So they, they mixed in Assyria with Northern Kingdom. Watch this. It mentions the departure of the people into exile under the leadership of, of Ophran. Sargon II. So Sargon II is Ophran, they call him. Go ahead. From now on, from now on, substituting Assyri Assyrian for Israelite kings. Right, so they, gave, so they gave our Israelite kings Assyrian names. Go ahead. It describes the settlement of the people under their new kings in the region of Habar uh, Igboyo, their main place of exile, situated in eastern Syria. Right, by the Assyrians. Go ahead. It refers to the death of it refers to the death of the last metropolitan Assyrian king in Nineveh in 612 BC, and hence to the end of the Assyrian exile. First in a sympathetic and later in a hostile way, reflecting pro and anti-Assyrian sentiments among immigrant groups to West Africa. So some were pro-Assyrian sentiment sentiments and some were anti. I mean, they, they maintained their, um, the right um, the Bible. They maintained the Bible. Some were pro freaking coons and some was pro Bible. That's what he's saying. We, we should have been stopped by now. But go to um, go up to. The top right, it should say the article. The top right article. Wait, no, I'm sorry, 593, page 593, bottom left. 
bottom left, and start at uh, 20 in line with. 20 right there, in line with. Read that. 20. In line with the Israelite figures of Ajaka. Ajaka is who? Isaac. Isaac is Ajaka. Go ahead. Orion. Jacob. Orion is Jacob. Go ahead. Olusiu. Joash. Joash. The Yoruba name seems to be derived. The, 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 the Yoruba name, the name Yoruba derives from where? From Jeroboam. May the people be great. The name of the founder of, of the, the northern, northern kingdom, kingdom of, of Israel. Israel. So Jeroboam is Yoruba. Yeruboam. Yeruboam. That's who it is. Yoruba. That's, that's who it is. Yoruba. Yeah. Jeroboam. Northern kingdom. Yeah. That's where the name comes from. Now, go to... Scroll up to um, the article. Top right, the article. And we're going to end at 2010. Then we're going to go to the map, but we'll end it there. The article is a revised version of a paper presented at the conference. So this article we're reading from here is an article, ver is a revised version of a paper presented at where? The conference where? Jews and Judaism uh -huh. in black Africa. And is it's diasporas. Wow. Yeah. Which was? Which was held at the School of African and Oriental Studies. African and Oriental Studies. Which means Near Eastern Studies. Go ahead. University of London. London. Where? October the 30th to 31st. Two days. Go ahead. 2010. Ah, oh, man. 11 years ago. There was no Negroes in there. No Negroes in that at all. <laughs> Niggas was not invited to that party. Wow. So that's who started. They, they, they have they had a, a lecture article was presented, a paper was presented at this freaking University of London back 11 years ago mm -hmm. from Dirk Lang. And all his abbreviations and his, his references are all on the bottom there. Bible Dictionary, slow down some. Dictionary there, dictionary this and that, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Let's go to, um, scroll up to the map on page 581. These migrations, 581. What over this before again? Which ties into the last book, West African Nations by Norton. Page 581 to have a map. Showing the migration. There we go. Boom. Um, bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Some. No, I mean, I'm sorry. Bring it out some. Bring it out some. I'm sorry about that. Right. Go up. Move it up. Move it. Blow it up. Blow it up over there. Zoom in. Move to the right. Zoom in some more. Move it up to the right again. Zoom in some more. Move it to the right again. <laughs> right there. <laughs> you got Assyria. It says 612. See that? And you have Assyria Media. When they conquered us, they placed us in Habor. See Habor on the bottom there under Assyria? And it goes on near the Euphrates. That's what we sailed in there. When we got our freedom of Persia, we sit, remember Elam's right there in the bottom. Iraq's right there. When we got our freedom, some, some, some of us, um, when the Syria rose, we fled, and some of us remained in those settlements, and when we got freedom, we got freedom during the Persians, we got in a boat in the Euphrates River, sailed into the Persian Gulf, went around Africa, and came to the side of the world. And some of us sailed from the Mediterranean Sea and went to the Mediterranean Sea and still made it to America, because the other side right through there, but primarily through the Mediterranean Sea here. All right, and also the ports of um, Eziongaber, which would be like the bottom, the bottom of uh, Egypt, I think. All right, so you see Assyria there, see the, the migration, the Nineveh capital. They got play, they places all around. Now follow the arrow, going down. So one group went to see right there through Egypt. They're going right through Egypt, right there. You gotta pass through Egypt. They walk that way. Go, keep following the arrow, going towards the left. A Dudua, a Syrian epoch ruler. You see Serenaica on the top. Go over. Fazan, Garmanite, Garmantis, Garmantes. Go down. We're going through Toreg right there, right there. See Toreg? That's Canaanites. Mm. That's the local inhabitants there. That's Canaanite. That's Toreg. Those are ancient Hamites. Toreg. All right, that's Hamites. Hands down. Go down. Go Burr. Okay, not not not, not yeah, go, not Gober as in that's a different kind of Gober. Gober, and you see uh, Kanem Bornu to the right. Kanem Bornu. We'll get to that in a few seconds. Hausa, Hausa right there. Go down. 
Boom, you have Yoruba right there. Oyo, Oyo Empire. Now go, now follow the arrow that's, that's next to Kanem. We go backwards. Kanem Bondu Empire, go over to the right. It says Kanem, we're going through Darfur. Go, go up. Nubia, we passed through Nubia. Some of us stopped right there and stayed there until the Arabs came. We ran further down. Go up, 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 up. Then Egypt again and go back. So you have, you went different directions. Some went south, so they went southeast, and some went uh, northwest. And they all came from Assyria, but they all ended up where? In Yoruba. All right? Some may, some may have made pit stops and stayed in different areas, but the majority of them, but, um, the majority of this remnant here made pit stops in Yoruba and parts of West Africa and so forth. All right? And some, and some went over to Elam, India. Some went, some went to the far right, to the far east. They went that way, India and so forth, and became Scythians in India, Scythians and so forth. The, or went uh, far east to China. Dalits. The Dalits. Yep. Okay, and, then Judah, and then Judah came on, Baron Babylon became the Cedis. All right? Now, um, yeah, so we're going to end it on that. We're going to end right there. I was pretty, basically, the 30, perfect timing. So we're going to stop right there. Hope you guys got information, um, some in-depth understanding on that. We're going to Lord's Will next week, go on to the time of the Gentiles, ba um, the rise of Babylon, the rise of Babylon. Um, hope you guys got understanding. I'm not done with the end of Assyria. Just some, yeah, I want to get some more stuff out of that. But before I do, um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to go into that first and then go to Babylon. So to next week will be the rise of Babylon, Time of the Gentiles. All right? So, have we done? Shut it up. Hey, Israel, let's give Deacon a hand once again. Deacon is back to back with the classes, Sabbath, Sunday, all praise in the Most High. Hey, Israel, you see where your dona donations are going. Uh, the Deacon is able to get a lot more books for us to bring out, uh, for him to bring out for all Israel so we can know the history, so we continue to to get more understanding on these things that we don't know of. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, also, we got the, a lot of you who helped us out. We got the books. Um, we're not in the time to use them yet, so I'm not going to bring them out. But when it comes time for me to use the books, you guys have helped help, help to contribute to us buying. I will present them. I will show them all. If you guys bought y'all, y'all help. Y'all bought them. So I'm definitely going to present them when the time comes. Right now, it's not our time to use them because we're doing the captivities. But after the captivities, we're going to go into... The old world, the um, the um, what I call it, the uh, the old world order. Old world. Yeah. We're gonna go into the old world order series. I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to the '60s, but nah, I'm gonna go into the old world order. Many of y'all familiar with, and are, we're living in. You're familiar with, and we're living in what is known as the new world order, which is Edom ruling over us, the white man. But I'm gonna go into the old world order, when we were ruling over them. Mm. Now, your King James. Your King Henrys, your uh, Oliver Cromwell, Edwards, uh, yeah, Constantine, Edwards. Um, Athelstan, King Charlemagne, Mary the First, Elizabeth the First. I'm going to go into them and in their, in their origins. Ooh, All right, that's so that's going to be a bit in depth. I'm going to let y'all know now. I don't know everything about the history because there's, a, there's a, lot, a lot of religious wars took place during that time. So I'm not going to go into much, go into too much emphasis on. The religious, the, the the reasoning behind the religion wars. I don't understand that nonsense. I'm just gonna go into the fact that I'm gonna go into the fact that they were black people fighting each other over over religious nonsense, basically. And it was a base, basically a whole war of us fighting each other during that time, and us and us marrying a bunch of white women and white men, and pretty much them doing what they did as always, sitting there waiting by their time until they take over. All right. So I'm gonna go into the old world order, Lord's will after this. All praise. Looking forward to it. All I'm learning as y'all learning, so I'm, I'm still putting it together. All praise the most high. Hey, is, Israel, if you would like to continue to don't, well, oh, and Mansa Musa, touch on him also. Old world order. Mansa Musa. Nah. That's right. All praises. Hey, Israel, let's continue to donate. You can donate on PayPal to iuic.philadelphia at israelunite.org. Once again, iuic.philadelphia at israelunite.org. Don't forget to follow our Hidden History Radio YouTube channel, and you can like, subscribe, and share the content, and you can rewatch all the classes that Deacon is going over. 
Also, don't forget to donate to IUI to the Booster Club on PayPal by iuic.fundraising at israelunite.org. Mm. Uh, shout out to Captain Joel and Off Saeem. We miss you. All praise the most high. Uh, I think that's it, uh, Deacon Off the Jazz. All right. So, Israel, until next time, Lord's will, see you again. Shalom, most high grace bless. Shalom, shalom. shalom. Searching for the road to the way back We don't know our father's going way back Do you know it, do you know it, oh yeah Oh yeah, 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 yeah We the chosen people, you say no way Enemies are teaching you the wrong way Do you know it, do you know it, oh yeah Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know history, history, history? Yeah. Do you know it? Do you know it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know it? History, history, history. Yeah. Do you know it? Do you know it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Back for show sure. when I when I let the truth go, we gon' let them know. My people on my back for show sure. I hold them, I hold them down for the road. The Lord Almighty, baby, Lord, I got it changed me. We can see the truth now. I got them looking crazy, man. I'm always searching, yeah. You hear I'm searching.